Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to get our wizard on. Yeah. Right? Right, wizard? Wizard hat? No? Wrong IP. What? I mean, what? I think it could potentially fit. It kind of does, right? I think the hat from Harry Potter's brown, but I think it's fine. Oh, the talking one? Yeah. Hello everyone joining live. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. to you watching later. Hello, hello. Uh, we're going to be playing Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle, aka Harry Potter the deck building game, uh, published by The Op Games. Uh, full disclosure, this game was purchased with funds from these awesome people supporting the channel. Purchased from not our local game store, it's a few towns away. Uh, if anyone knows Justin, uh, one of our friends who used to play with us on the channel, uh, where he lives, he has a local game store. And we went to that game store and uh, we saw this game and we knew some people have been asking for this game over the last like six years or something mm -hmm. that we should try it. It's cool. It's got legacy-ish kind of elements, little campaign to it, some blind boxes. It's a fun little campaign. Uh, we love deck building games. We like campaign games on the channel. So this might be fun to play. And I thought one day, one day for the right price. And man, it was not an expensive game at all. And uh, we just went a little crazy, bought a few games there that day. And uh, yeah, threw this in the uh, collection to uh, play on the channel. And here we are. Here we are. So uh, yes, this was not provided by the publisher, FYI. So take that into account. Um, and we're going to be playing through it here. So this is episode one. The plan today is to play through a reasonable amount of games. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. There is separate boxes. Each game adds new content. The game supposedly increases in complexity. I'll talk a bit more about that stuff, um, but we are going to play the very basic, basic, basic intro tutorial game. And then hopefully that goes quickly as it did when we played with our daughter for fun, just to try the game out. Um, but we've not played beyond that. So it's all going to be blind for us. And then we're going to open box number two and you play through all seven years of Harry Potter uh, is supposedly what's happening. And uh, eventually, I think based on what the rule book says on the front, uh, by game three, you'll get to actually the full proper complexity kind of normal deck building games we usually play that we like uh so we've not seen that yet so don't spoil anything for us if you played this i do have a poll going in the chat if you're watching live uh you can vote i see right now 43 of you have voted i appreciate that uh to let us know if you've played this game at all i'm just curious i will go through it a uh, quick overview of it and then uh as we set it up i'll explain the game quickly it's not that complex so it should be pretty quick but who knows? Sometimes here we can get on side rants and tangents and have some fun with the chat and, you know, deal with it. Um, but yes, we will, uh, we will teach you the game-ish, and uh, but obviously play through it, and it'll kind of make sense as we play through it. And then together, we'll open box two, and we'll see what's in there and what it adds to the game. And then if we have time, we'll get to box three. And that'll add more stuff to the game, more complexity, add a few more rules, and then we'll get to the full game. So it's a kind of a cool little tutorial system to ease your way into the game. They very much made this game for like non-gamers. Like Harry Potter fans who've only ever played like Monopoly or, or you know, Clue or something. And they're just walking through the, the big box store, you know, grabbing some clothes and groceries. And all of a sudden they're like, whoa, I like Harry Potter. Let's throw that in the shopping cart. I've never played a game before. Because we know Monopoly and Clue, those aren't, aren't games. Um, but this is uh, actually kind of a modern, you know, tabletop worthy ish game, supposedly. I'll be the judge of that, though, after we see um, when we play the proper game. Um, I was just going to say, too, it kind of gives me that uh, Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion kind of feel, right? Where the first in Jaws of the Lion, the yeah. first five camp, uh, I guess, scenarios are kind of like explaining the rules and teaching you slowly it kind of is the same thing correct what i would link this more close to uh out of games we've played on the channel and maybe our channel fans aka viewers would know more this is more similar to kind of like aeons and legacy light because mm. aeons and legacy does the same thing it removes out the base rules of like aeons and legacy super simple gets yeah. you into deck building gives you a little taste of how the game works once you wrap your head around that you know fail a couple times then they start throwing more rules at you and, and, and adding, getting back up to like the full version of Aeon's End. Then they start adding in like expansion content into Aeon's End to kind of really fluff it out. And that's what I assume this kind of does too. But again, I don't know. We're going to play blind. We're going to see. No spoilers uh, if you already know, but we're just going to have fun with it. Um, so yeah, let's uh, talk about the game a bit. How's everyone doing today? Is everyone doing good? Is there, oh, Brian, 
Brian S., is that the little uh, little chime theme song uh, from the movie? Let's see. And we, oh, Harry Potter background. Uh, actually, we'll talk a bit about it when we talk about our history with this game-ish a little bit. All right. So here's the BoardGameGeek.com page. Uh, this is Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. Uh, came out in 2016. Two to four players. Supposedly the community says the best with two or four. 30 to 60 minutes is a session. Uh, age 11 plus, but the community says you can play with eight-year-olds. No problem. Uh, the weight is a 2.08 out of 5. So it's on the lower end of what we normally play on the channel. The usual games we play are like definitely above that. Um, but yeah, so this should be pretty chill. I'm looking forward to it. Every now and then I need to cleanse the palate with kind of like a more chill game, okay? <laughs> a, little, a little more chill. <laughs> but what I want to say is a lighter weight doesn't always mean it's not as fun. So hopefully... Uh, fun is subjective. Right. Yeah. So you think it's For more me. fun when it's... No. Heavier? No. And when it's lighter, it might not be I'm saying the weight doesn't necessarily uh, equate to how fun the game is. Yeah, of course. So... But sometimes people find complex games more fun than others. Right. And sometimes people find the light, like, party games, the only real fun games, everything else is a snooze fest because it gets too grindy and too thinky. Right. And they feel like they're doing work. That, that is a thing. I read, I read that about people in board game forums and stuff that come in, they're like, I, I don't know how you guys do it. Like, this is too much game. And they're talking about, like, wingspan. And I'm like, really? But I understand. Like, if you look at it, some people, board gaming is boring. Like, they need more excitement. Mm -hmm. you know? It's just a thing. Mm -hmm. It's fine. More of a challenge, I guess. Or they're not social, maybe. Or, or they don't like, you know, being in the same room as human sometimes, the, and especially now. I can understand. Which is why I have me and the internet and then you guys on the other side, so I have that, like, fence barrier. Us. Yeah, that barrier of the interwebs. Just kidding. So, Just kidding. Scott says, love this game. Uh, starts easy and ramps up. Well, I'm super excited we'll to out. see how and if, how this ramps up. <laughs> yeah. Aya says, Vanguard took it out of you, Rob. No, listen. Okay, listen. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, one thing I did notice at the top here when I opened this page a couple hours ago when I was setting up the stream... Uh, is there's a re I was interested by games that re-implement another game, and I was like, what is this, Harry Potter, what? I don't, I don't know what this is. This wasn't the expansions that I saw. This, this is a brand new game, I guess. Does anyone know anything about this? Is it craptastic? Is it, is it good? Don't but it's, wait, it even less. Yeah, it's a little, little lighter, but it's just, uh, like, a people rating it, so it's, like, whatever. Yeah. Uh, anyone know anything about Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle Defense Against the Dark Arts? It, I'm assuming it's a standalone game. But is this the one we should have bought? Or we bought the right one? I, I don't know. It's not really the same? And then what is it? Why is it re-implementing it already? Oh, it's a two-player duel game. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh, okay. Two-player duel. Thank you. Okay. That makes sense. But it probably used the same, like, graphic design and stuff. That's why it's saying it, like, re-implemented it. Same, like, resources and things. Oh, we bought the right one, says so yeah. Okay, okay perfect. Uh, so then there's also this, it re-implemented in this game, and now when I opened this this morning, I saw this, I felt a little upset that we, we definitely bought the wrong game now. Like, we, this was the right one we are supposed to buy. We could have played through the Toy Story films in this cooperative deck building game. Okay. I just would love that. Okay, hold on. It gets Maybe. better. We just wait till you see this one on the table. Come on. Oh my god. We definitely bought the wrong game. We definitely bought the wrong game. Look at this, this little adventure so Look at this going along here. Do, 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 do. And then you got these little enemies or whatever this is, or villain things, but they're different in this game. Yeah, we bought the wrong game, guys. And does this have uh, boxes and stuff too, like each movie or... Yeah, it said that. That's what I just read. But in separate boxes or... I just it's... read it to you. Oh. Look, look, look. Oh, okay. It's I like 100% the same. Oh, Even that's the same like so marketing cute. image, exact same laid out, 100% like, the same. That's so cute. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if our niece is really a fan of Toy Story or what, I mean, but... she dressed up, I think, as Toy Story last year. I know she likes Disney stuff, so... Yeah, so anyways, just so wow. you know, uh, you can leave now if you're like, damn, we're playing the <laughs> wrong game. Uh, maybe in the future, you know, we could play the Toy Story one. We'll see, but no promises, okay? But I'm a little upset. I, got, I feel like I got ripped off. Everyone's telling me to play the Harry Potter game, and little did I know there was another option. Like, you guys don't know me at all. You guys don't know me at all. 
I'm so sad. All right. Uh, so yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, so I have a poll going. I'm going to close the poll just out of curiosity. I'm, I, I want to see. Uh, so the poll I asked is, any, uh, uh, have you played this game that we're about to play today? The Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. 64% of you that voted said no. Okay. Out of 67 votes. Okay, thank you. All right. Good to know. Good to know. All right. So let's approach it that way. That's good to know. Do I have a Woody hat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my brother might. <laughs> they do family costumes. There's a snake in my boot. <laughs> Anyways. All right. This is gone. All right. <laughs> okay uh so that's what you need to know uh so our history with this game just quickly just quickly i remember this game and it was on my radar right from the beginning when i first got in the hobby 2012 ish deck building games found a couple thunderstone uh i forget what the other one was the lord of the rings ones but i know they're not the greatest the the, the ones that are like DC deck building game using the Cerberus one that Edward was talking about in the chat earlier. Okay, I played those, but I was a sucker for Lord of the Rings. It's my only option. Okay, my only option. I don't know the greatest. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to think back in that time. But anyways, Thunderstone Advance, um, Star Realms, Hero Realms, those kind of deck building games. Probably Star Realms was closer to when we got in the hobby, I think. I don't know how old that one is. Um, but anyways, I like deck building games, okay? But I was not a fan of the Harry Potter movies. I saw like the first two or three I was recommended to it. I had a friend that used to love them. I think it was because his girlfriend loved them. Um, but he said they were awesome. He loved them. And I should watch them. And I was like a Lord of the Rings snob at the time. And I'm thinking, wow, this is just competition with Lord of the Rings. You know, I, I'm, I'm into Lord of the Rings. I don't need this kiddie stuff. You know, I'm too old for this. So I watched the first couple. And I was like, man, they're the same movie over and over again. The like, exact same story beats. It's like just repeating itself. Kids getting older. Going to school the next year. Teacher does bad stuff. The villains behind the scenes. Whatever. Same thing over and over again. Uh, but then recently, a couple of years back, uh, we just we got the we played the Harry Potter Funkoverse game on the channel. And when we got that, I was like, you know what? There's some things I like snobbed, you know, and snubbed or whatever in the past. And I was like, nah, I'm too good for that. That's uh, get out of here. I have my my own fandoms. I like. I don't need this one. I don't care. Um. But then our daughter was like, uh, I don't know what age at the time. I don't remember. But I thought maybe she'd be interested in them. And it's something we could maybe bond over. I like the fantasy stuff, you know. And this was like kind of targeted at children. So we watched it all as a family. We watched every single movie before we played that game. So then we understood who the characters were. Just to get into the theme. See, what it, see, if, see if the game fit the theme kind of thing. Um, but that was years ago. I don't remember a lot. I know the main characters, of course. I think. I think some things might come yeah, as we back see the to characters. us as we see them. But, but yeah. I've only seen all the movies except for the first like couple, maybe two or three. I've seen one time like long time ago when they first came out-ish. Um, so I'm not a huge expert on the whole theme of it. But I've played quite a few deck building games. I've played quite a few games. So I'm just kind of, let's see if the game is good, you know? And if it meets the theme, I'll, I don't know. I may be not the expert on that. But for those who've never played the game, hopefully we show you kind of just how it works. You can make the call, whether you're a Harry Potter fan or not. There might be other deck building games out there better for you. Um, but there's a co-op one with campaign elements. I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. Same. And I want to try it out. So there you go. Um, but at the time when this came out, we were at Gen Con. We were at Gen Con when this was hype. Oh, yeah. Man, we went there and I saw this booth and it was booming. Like, usually you go to Gen Con. I've been going since 2013. And Fantasy Play Games is like usually the booth. Okay, fancy play games always like the fire marshals there cutting off the line. There's too many people. They need like extra booths just for their lineup. Like it's insane. It's insane. It's like a freaking uh, nightclub. Uh, you know, you go in there and it's like lined up everywhere and people are taking tickets and they're trying to get people to come back later to get their stuff. And it's nuts. Usually hasn't been that way for a few years with the COVID stuff. But this the, was the before times. Yeah, this was in the before times. Exactly. Yeah. This was the before times. So back in 2016 at Gen Con. This was their booth, and I remember this booth. I knew there would be pictures of it, but this is what before the booth opened. But every day we walked by this booth, I will never forget. I was like, what the hell? Anytime I'm at Gen Con, I see a booth rammed with people demoing the game, always buzz, even during like the quieter times. It had tons of people playing it, tons of people lined up. It was a madhouse. Yeah. Okay, I remember this. And I made a mental note, like... It was like, wait, what? Maybe I got to check this out one time. 
And I always had that in the back of my head, though. That was like a hot game at the time, and I was kind of blown away by it, because I thought it was just mass market junk. And I was like, I don't get it. There's so many other cool deck building games. Why, why do we need a Harry Potter one by the same company that like makes Monopoly and stuff? That's kind of like, it's probably garbage. That's what I thought, right? That's how I judged it. We also hadn't seen the movies at that point. That's what I just explained, yeah. Mel. That's why I, I know, just I'm explained just saying, where I was at. Yeah, 2016, we didn't yeah. see the movies at that time. That's what I was saying. That's where yeah. I was, like, kind of a snob to it at the time. I didn't yeah. know. Um, so yeah, after this, we then watched the movies and everything. I was mm -hmm. like, okay. And people were like, you should go back. You should play that game. Even when we were playing the Harry Potter Funkoverse, I think people were mentioning this game. That I think trying. so, yep. Um, but at this Gen Con, Mel, fun memory lane, uh, I looked it up. This was also the Gen Con where Seafall was there in limited quantities. Rip. Uh, Cry Havoc, which is a game we have that I've not played yet, but we bought like a used, ripped box, dented box copy for like dirt cheap. So I consider it like not a game I care to play ever, but at some point maybe. Um, but I remember it was the hotness here. Cry Havoc was the hotness. Seafall. Um, there was something else. There was this. I forget what else that year was like the buzz. But I was just looking it up quickly. I was like, oh, 2016 Gen Con. Let's see what the hot games were. Um, but yeah. Anyways, that's the booth. It's, it, I wish I could have found a picture. I, I just looked quickly, but this is the first picture I found that like actually showed the full booth. I couldn't really find one of like it rammed. Mm. Because it would only fit in like a shot like this. But like it was like lined up around the booth, down the hall. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Just crowds, crowds, yeah. crowds, crowds. Everyone was like, the buzz was there. And always, not even just the morning. That's what I was saying, yeah. even during the downtime. So I was like, whoa. You know, usually you can sneak in around dinner time on like, you know, Saturday or on dinner time on like, uh, sorry, Thursday, Friday, you know, people go for dinner a little tired. You can sneak in sometimes at that point. No, man. It was always busy, I felt. At least when we walked by. Uh, and yeah, this game is kind of like an evergreen game. It's been out for a while. I looked at stock in Canada and the U.S. It's still a game that's in stock. You can still find. It's like an evergreen title. Since 2016, they've been printing it. Print run after print run. I find it goes out of stock, in stock. It's there. Priced very reasonably. Uh, just to show you. Just out of curiosity. That's why I was like, man, I can grab this. Compared to some of the stuff we buy. Like, it's pretty, pretty good price. Uh, even if you just play through each scenario once but when you fail you can't move on to the next one supposedly so you got to kind of keep playing it till you win but let's assume you like crush it right you're gonna have seven games out of this seven games you know forty dollars for two three four one person to play seven sessions peanuts so but let's see if it's any good we're gonna try to play through the whole thing on the channel not today in <laughs> multiple episodes check the link down below in the video description there's a playlist down there that's where i will put future episodes okay once they're scheduled, they'll be in there, and you can set reminders and join us for those. FYI. Um, boom. Jack Palmian also says, 2016, big games, Terraforming Mars, Scythe, Beast for Odin, Mansion Man, a second edition. Ah, I was just looking for, like, mass... Yes, uh, what was the other one? But at Gen Con, though, those are games that released that year, but they might not have been. I know Scythe was pretty big at Gen Con, but that already delivered to Kickstarter backers. And then there, I think it was just uh, they just had retail copies available and there wasn't like a big lineup around the Scythe booth. I even went up and, and met Jamie Stegmeyer and was like, hey, does this game have any of the upgraded components and stuff? And he went, no, it's just a retail box. And I said, well, it's too expensive. I'll just buy it at my retail store, uh, you know, back home and cheaper. And, and I walked away. <laughs> That's me. Um, but yeah, but there were people walking around with siphon bags the whole time because there was like a very buzz thread that just came out. Uh, Feast for Odin, I didn't realize that was there. Um, Terraforming Mars, though, I don't have any, I know that game became popular, I just don't have any tie to that. But again, I'm a sci fi, like, we're not really into sci fi games. And again, if I saw that game on yeah, a table, yeah, we would have ignored that. If I saw that game on a table at Gen Con walking by, it would blend in with all the other trash, <laughs> you know, like that is not a game where I'm like, ooh. What's that? Let's go see it get played. Like you go watch it's it's like watching that be played. Come on. Like it's kind of like a snooze fest watching people be taught that game around a table. It's fun to play it yourself, but like that's not a game where you like stop and you're like, oh, look how beautiful it is and look at how engaged the players are. It's like, eh, I don't think so. And Mage of the Madness, I don't think we got into that until later. Yeah. But I knew about Mage of the Madness at the time. We knew I, yeah. I was interested because I remember the Rodney Smith, like that was like his first like playthrough on his channel. I remember finding him and being like, this game looks cool, and then they came out with the second edition, and they released the second edition at Gen Con and retail stores. FFG was trying to do something where a game came out the same day at everywhere, even Gen Con. So because it was, uh, I could get it back home, 
I didn't A, have to, you know, lug it to the car. I didn't have to pay the US conversion rate. I could buy it for Canadian at home. I didn't have to worry about possibly be charged customs going through the border and all that stuff. So a big game like that, it's like, hmm, I can get it back home, probably bundle it for some free shipping with an online order, you know, that kind of thing. And I remember that's kind of what we did. So, mm -hmm. um, but it was cool. I remember the hype around uh, Manage the Madness Second Edition also. But as soon as they announced it's available everywhere and, and at Gen Con all in the same day, I was like, I'm not overpaying for it at Gen Con. That's not, not a thing. And all the extra trouble. But yeah, so there you go. That's, that's our background. We finally got the game. So here we are sitting here in uh, January 22nd of 2023. We're a little late to the party, um, but we're not all about the new hotness. We're, we're, we like playing cool games. So let's see what's, what's down with this one. Uh, so one other thing I want to talk about is I have to stretch out the intro as long as possible. So other people, late stragglers, can show up and join us before we talk about the game. So the overview, it's a cooperative game. This is on the front of the rule book and on the box, on the back, I think. You will take on the heroic role of either Harry Potter, trademark, Ron Weasley, trademark, Hermione, Granger, trademark, or Neville, Longbottom, trademark. In order to defeat a series of evil threats, the villains launch attacks against you in their attempts to conquer the wizarding world one location at a time. This game is designed to be played over a series of seven increasingly difficult adventures to defeat you-know-who once and for all. I don't know who. Sauron? Is it Sauron? <laughs> uh, playing cooperatively as the heroes, you win the game if you defeat all the villains before they gain control of all locations, thereby securing the safety of Hogwarts for now, dot, dot, dot. However, if the villains manage to gain control of all the locations, you've lost the game. But I wanted to really show this part here. So this was, I appreciate this. I appreciate this. It's basically like, all right, Rob, you've played a lot of games, okay? I don't need you playing this game and playing the first scenario and then calling it garbage because it's too simple and boring, okay? So if you're an advanced wizard, which, you know, I've been Gandalf in Lord of the Rings during Middle Earth, many scenarios, so I feel like I'm an advanced wizard by now. Mm -hmm. After reading these rules, if you feel comfortable and familiar with deck building games, we recommend that you proceed directly to game three. Open the game one, game two, and game three boxes, review the rules enclosed in each, and start your adventure there. So this is how I know, even though I haven't played beyond one, I know it'll eventually become a full-fledged deck building game by game three, and that's the intent. So it's really game one and two are like slowly easing non-gamers into the game, which is a beautiful thing. Okay, bring in more gamers to the hobby, the hobby thrives, more games will be made, you know, the hobby will mature, this is what I'm all about. I love this extra effort here, genius. And this is probably why the game is bought and loved and word of mouth and is still evergreen and people like it. Because it's more friendly and inviting. They put the effort into, into easing you into it. Which the base rule book does just that. It literally only explains the rules and it, it's like only... Uh, fourteen ish pages, okay. Just base, like look how basic. Some stuff. are like half pages. Yeah, yeah. Just like no. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like no text. Like yeah, it's such an easy read. Big pictures, like they worry more about like you understanding where things are. Like it's more examples than rules. Like that's where the complexity is at. It's like you know it shouldn't be fourteen pages. You think with a game that's like a two point complexity, but it's like and, and how in just the first game. Sorry, just the first game. I assume this was going to have all the rules in here all the way through, but it doesn't. Those are all hidden in each boxes. So this is like literally just to get you started. But they did not mess around with the full color pictures and examples. They didn't try to cheap out on reducing the amount of paper by like leaving rules out, you know, and that stuff and no examples and, you know, just text examples, which we see sometimes in books. So sad. Um, but yeah, they flat out just went nuts with it. So anyways, as you open the boxes, it looks like you can shove the rules in here. Um, you know, just store them in the back, which is kind of neat. There's like little, little tuck things, I think. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Yeah, yeah, you can tuck them in there. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, there you go. No reference on the back, though. Do you think it's needed? No, because if you have a reference, <laughs> they give you reference cards to every player right in front of you. <laughs> but come on. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, they, they can get away with it here, okay? Uh, so yeah. This is the box, okay? I just want to show you so you understand what we're getting into here. Okay? I don't normally do this, but I just want to show you a nice visual representation. Game one, okay? You get a whole ton of decks and cards to get you started. 
Game two obviously adds a little bit. Game three adds a little bit. Game four gets serious. But this is like the main game, and then you play through these, which will add and change up things, I assume. We're going to play through them all on the channel blind. Jackpot, man. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, it's because of this game I now sit and watch a weird dude playing board games on YouTube. <laughs> Who the hell does that? What a waste of time. Jackpot, man. Thank you. Jackpot, man. You should never admit that to anyone. Only losers sit and watch people play board games on YouTube. Don't like, say that to the... Who does group that? Of people that are sitting here and today. And even worse is the people who are playing board games on YouTube. Like, who <laughs> does that? So weird. So weird. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Oh, Thank you so that. much. Uh, yeah. So stuff is hidden in here. We're gonna open it as we go. We're play through the campaign. It came with some baggies. I just have some leftover tokens in there. But the insert, I mean, for a mass market, the op. Uh, game from 2016, it's got an insert, and uh, it has dividers and things, and these are the player boards, okay? We can play up to four players with the base game. Uh, these game trays do not come with the game, but these are the tokens that come with the game. They're just cardboard, nothing nothing to write home about. Um, but these are the uh, dividers, they're in here. Uh, so it comes with dividers, I guess, so once we open all the stuff, we can start jamming it behind dividers in that little insert. So I, I, I'm, that already was like, I did not expect that for a little $40 mass market game that uses like movie screen caps, like, you know? It doesn't look too bad, but yeah. Anyways, so speaking of reference, uh, each player will have this in front of them. Okay, your little turn order card. So we're gonna go through your reveal and resolve the dark arts events. That'll make more sense in a second. Resolve the villain abilities, play your cards, like a normal deck building turn. Play your cards, generate your resources, spend those resources, buy cards to imp increase your deck. Anyone that doesn't know what a deck building game is, it is basically a game that the whole mechanic, the whole game is centered around building your deck on the fly. You start with a basic deck of 10-ish cards in these games. Uh, it's kind of like a standard thing, and that deck kind of sucks. And as you go, you use resources generated by playing cards to buy better cards from a market and improve your deck, and it goes in your discard pile. When you draw out your deck, you shuffle that discard pile where the cards you purchased are now improved in your deck, and you draw that deck, you'll get better cards, and you try to build an engine it's basically an engine building game where you build the deck on the fly. It's not like a Magic the Gathering where you have to build a deck before showing up to play the game. This is building the deck as you play the game. So the, the cleanup is kind of a little annoying because of that. Because then you have to separate everything after to play again. But you don't have to sit there. The setup is easy because you don't have to sit there building decks at the start, right? So that's what it's... it's, it's uh, and, and it's like a resource engine building to just generate resources and like battle against the game basically because we're playing co-op. All right, so let's give out uh, these little reference cards for now. You get one, okay. Uh, these are our villains, okay. These are our villains from year one or game one or whatever. I don't know if they're always in there, we'll find out. Uh, but these are our villains on a villain. They have health for us to fight them with attack. Attack is this token here, influence, the one you use to buy cards is here. This game only basically has two resources. Um, and for now, for now, I'm assuming it gets a little beefier. Um, and then there's also a third token, these little metal uh, location control tokens. Okay, those are used uh, on the enemy side to kind of them to advance on their side to end the game in their favor. Um, and then they have little villain abilities, which we'll see fire off as we play the game. As you, when you defeat a, guy, a, a villain uh, by having the attack equal to or greater than the health, you then get this reward, you defeat the villain, you see the next one. Okay, in this version, the intro game, you're only finding one villain at a time, but I'm assuming because there's three villain spots here on the bottom and a place to put your attack, uh, we will see more of them as we go and more at a, at a time as the game gets more difficult and complex. Uh, oh, I forgot about this. Uh, okay, so locations. These are locations in this scenario. As you can see, they're from game one. We have two locations, one of one, two of two. Uh, Diagon Alley and Mirror of Irisid. Um, and it tells you how many Dark Arts events, so the, uh, on the villain phase on your turn, you're going to draw Dark Arts events which does bad things. And then do the villain ability which does bad things. Uh, those little metal tokens will go on the bottom here. Once this is full, they now control this location, go on the second one. If they control the final location, we lose, okay? So we have to stop them, we have to beat all the villains and eliminate them all. Six feet under, finish them, you know, and uh, before they take over all the locations. So they take over those locations, they win, we defeat all the villains, we win, okay? And we don't die, okay? We just get stunned. And there's a little thing on the bottom of the thing here. When your health goes from 10 to stun, 
When you get stunned, it just hurts you a little bit, you lose resources. You have to add a control token to the location, and then you reset your health dial to 10 at the end of the turn you went down to zero, which could be on another player's turn. Okay, so we're tracking our health. So actually, that's a third resource, I should say. Three resources in this deck building game. Your own health, which you can heal up in this game and spend health. Basically, instead of healing it, you just let it go down, and then you can focus on the influence or the attack. Those are the three resources we're managing in the game, trying to get an engine focusing on one, many, or all. Um, so yeah, we have character cards. These just have pictures, a little story on them. I think it's because we're in game one. We're in year one of Harry Potter. They want to keep it simple. I'm assuming we see ones later that actually have abilities. I'm guessing. That's, I'm going to put that out there. I'm assuming when it gets... Otherwise, why do I have this giant card just sitting here staring at me like, does this really need to be there? No. Um, but anyways. Who are we going to play? Each one does have a unique starter deck. Uh, they have some specific, I think, spells or items or whatever in their deck. Um, so yeah, we need to find out who is Mel going to play as. Mm -hmm. And you guys can decide. Whoops, no. Oh. Scott says, oh, Harry Potter spoilers. Okay, sorry, spoiler warning for uh, Harry Potter. If no. you have to see no. Harry get Potter. get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> you, I don't even have to say that. If you guys haven't seen it, you're like, I know. Just you're joking. like, I just found out about it. I'm going to watch them all this weekend. Oh, no, Rob's playing the game of it. I'm going to get spoiled. Don't watch. Get out of here. Come on. <laughs> get out. You know you're joking. You have to be joking. No, they're joking. I don't it's even funny. have to say spoiler warning. But yes, of course. No, I was just joking about it. That's why I thought it was funny. <sighs> um, Rob's putting a poll right now in the chat so you guys can help decide who I should play. And then after that, we'll be able to decide who Rob should play. I think that's how you spell it. Neville. All right. This is who Mel is going to play. You guys decide, and then we'll do a poll quickly to find out which character I'm going to play. So we have on the poll, we have a Neville Longbottom. Okay. Only problem is, I can't remember what I've forgotten. <laughs> then we have Harry Potter. I can't be a, a, a wizard. I mean, I'm just Harry. Just Harry. He's really Harry. We got Ron Weasley. What do you think they're doing to keep a thing like that locked up in a school? Okay. And then we got Hermione. Which I don't, when I look at the name, that's not what that says. But I've heard it said in the movie, so I think that's what it is. Uh, now, if you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. Ah, expelled is worse than being killed. I get it. <laughs> funny. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. All right. I'm closing that poll. End poll. Okay, it looks like your 60% voted you to play Hermione. Nice, okay. Thank you. Harry, Ron, and, and Neville. Neville. No, Neville. All right, I'll put a poll in the live chat. You can decide which one I'm playing out of these three uh, gentlemen. Okay. I'll put our locations. Some jokes that you just need to play Ron. Rob is Ron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's our location. So we'll put the first one on top. Uh, now we need our dark arts cards and stuff. So uh, I'm going to grab box one. I threw everything back in the box one. Um, but yeah, we'll... Uh, I'll just show you. I just want to show how they kind of package this. It's kind of neat for setup. It's a little weird uh, the way the cards are like packaged, but they are like uh, they were separated with these little plastic, like oh, like little, little... like cheap baggies. Yeah. Like, but they work, right? You could just pull it out when you're like first get the game and want to keep it simple. It's like okay, you're playing Hermione. Okay, your cards are all in here. There you go. And we'll look at those cards in a second. Explain differences. Okay, here's the like main market deck or whatever. It's all here, I think. Yep, these are the, the market cards. So basically the cards in the market, uh, we got items. 
They do a little ability when you play them. Obviously, it's going to be super simple here in game one. It's like a tutorial game. Uh, there's the influence required to purchase the card into your deck or discard pile or whatever. Um, we have spells. These seem to gain you money. Some of them have additional abilities on when you play them. There's like a third card, ally, I think. Yep. The classic deck building three card types. Uh, then we have ally. Uh, you can do things like gain attack. All heroes gain a health. You know, okay. This is the basic little starting deck they start you with. Lots of repeats in there. Um, Mel can shuffle those maybe and then throw them up here. And this, and then you can draw or mark it even. Uh, here we have the dark arts cards. So these are going to be flipped over. Uh, the location tells you how many to flip over each turn. I think in the starter game, it's it's uh, each turn reveal one dark arts card. Yeah, one dark arts card. Okay. But obviously that can change. Otherwise, they wouldn't put that on a card. Okay, I'm going to close the poll. Who am I playing as? I'll quickly shuffle these. Ron is the winner. Edward says, yeah, got a sleeve deck builders. Uh, yeah, if you're going to play them more than once, yeah. Well, because I think David says, FYI, you might want to sleeve the starter cards and market cards. They aren't the best quality. And for easy. easy. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not going to bother with that. We're just going to play through it once, kind of like a legacy-ish game, and we'll probably just give it away after that to some friends or family, whoever we know that's like Harry Potter fans or gaming fans that might like it. Oh, and 20 says the deck color is slightly different than the expansion, so it's rather easy to know which decks are drawing, which the, decks you are drawing. In that color. case, I yeah. would flee for sure. It, it, when they print them years later at a different factory and the color is wrong, Yes, 100% I will sleeve them in that case. So if we do play the expansions on the channel, I will sleeve for sure. But for now, I'm not. But maybe I will as we go through it. We'll see. But I appreciate the tips. Yes, the cards do not feel the greatest quality. It is definitely USA Opley, a.k.a. the Op Games, mass market quality. That's why the game's like 40 bucks. okay? It definitely, the cards feel like this is a throwaway game. Just like any of the $20 games sitting on a Walmart shelf. This is what it feels like. This all feels like that quality. I think in this case, I just do a little more drop shuffling. Yeah, whatever. Okay. All right. So these are Dark Arts cards. We'll see those come up during gameplay and what they do. Uh, and I'm playing as Ron. 40% say Ron. Okay. Ron Weasley. Ryan right. says the chat needs to be more imaginative. Imaginative. <laughs> All right, so uh, your character card goes above your board. These little cardboard boards tell you that you have your draw deck on one side, your discard on the other. Your health here, as you play your turn, it feels a little unnecessary because we've played many deck builders, but I like this feature for younger players to keep track of what resources they generated on a turn. So literally, as you play each card or you play your whole hand or whatever, you just put the resources you generate in these little piles okay, to track what you've generated. And then when you feel ready, you can start spending it, you know, to buy cards to put in your discard pile. You can spend your attack against the villain on your turn. Once you're done, all the resources go away. You do not carry any resources over, any cards over. This is kind of like, so far, that lame, basic deck building where there's no holding cards in hand, no carrying over resources. Yeah, it's just straight, straight, like, straight old style deck building for sure no no flash or flare yet hopefully it gets there but uh again it was a 2016 game so things have come a little way since then but um but yeah we'll see okay what else we got here i need ron's cards so as you see on the cards uh this is how we separate them out after we know this is ron's cards this is ron's starting deck it says right at the bottom and these cards will not show that at the bottom and these cards do not have a cost on them so you can see, we start off with like super basic spell cards here, just gaining one influence. I have, this is unique to Ron probably, is uh, the Clean Sweep 11. Gain an attack. If you defeat a villain, also gain an influence. Yeah, I think, yeah. I have an ally of Pig, Pigwidgeon. Choose one, gain an attack, or gain two health. And then, uh, Birdie Bots, Every Flavor of Beans. This is like being boozled, right? Uh, gain one influence for each ally I played this turn. Gain one uh, attack. So obviously, I'd want to like put more than one ally in my deck. Would probably be a thing if that I can do that, because that's kind of lame to like. Yeah, that seems kind of crappy actually. Uh, but anyways, let's shuffle oh, it up. I don't really have anything like that, so I don't need to worry right now. 
So we'll do a quick shuffle on our decks. We'll put them here as draw piles. Uh, these cards we don't need. I'm going to throw these, I don't know, in the game one box, I guess. Okay. Uh, oh, it, it will set oh, sorry, yeah. the market. So here's our market cards. Okay. All right. So we have uh, two copies of this one in play here. Where did that go? Did it not? Hold on. Did I not already show cards on there? Um, I don't remember. I don't know. I thought it was working. Serenity now. Bear with me. Oh, there you go. What the heck? Okay, sure. Uh, so we have a couple copies of this card in the market to start. Uh, this one will gain you one influence. You may put items, items, not spells, not allies, items you acquire on top of your deck instead of in your discard pile. So then you'll draw them the next turn. We have a couple of Essence of Dittany. I don't know what this is, but uh, any one hero gains two health. Oh, it's a little healing potion. Okay. And then Quidditch gear, which is like the sport they play, right? Yep. Uh, flying on the broomsticks. Tasting the little buzzy thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. I remember this. All right. Uh, gain one attack and one health. Okay. That's what this one does. So it's a both, not an or, like you saw that starter card. Okay. That's there. Uh, all right. So again, this is the reference card they give you. So we know, reveal and resolve dark events cards on your turn. We're going to start with five cards each. We can just, I don't know, place them out here above, you know, it's co-op game, so you can just like lay out your cards, talk about them with your, your friends. They know what's going to happen on your turn, so you can line things up, you know. If I have a card that I get extra, you know, for defeating a villain, maybe, you know, Mel lines that up, so we get the bonus, yada yada. Or she doesn't heal if she knows I'm about to play a card next that heals her, heals every player at the table or something. You know, so we can fully work together on it. But uh, on a player turn, so we need to decide who goes first, which... You could just go first. Okay, I'll just go first. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, I think it's just random deciding, right? Or is it like whoever recently cast a spell or something? Whoever last went to a school for wizards? Well, they were saying that you just made that card magically appear on the screen. So you have mm. most recently cast a spell. Oh, okay. Done. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, on my turn, I will reveal and resolve a Dark Arts event card. Uh, it's here. And the card I got is Dark Arts event for petrification. All heroes lose a health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. But the active hero, which is me, and that's my turn, still draws five new cards at the end of the turn. So that doesn't stop me from drawing up at the end. So we both lose a health. Oh no! That sucks. Oh, no. turn. And this will just sit up here, the little spot for everything. So this just lets you know it has an ongoing ability just sitting there. That's like the discard pile, but it's the top one. Uh, okay. Then and next. Oh, villain, villain, villain. We don't have. Oh yeah, villain we didn't draw yet. our villain. Who's our random? Who's our randomly shuffled villain we have today? Draco Malfoy. Each time, villain control is added to the location. The active hero loses two health. If we defeat this guy, we get to remove one. Oh. Control from location. He's six health. I totally forgot to flip that as setup. I'm doing it all. I'm, all, I'm okay. doing it all by the seat of my pants. We played this a couple days ago. Just so you know, it might be hard to keep all these rules straight. There's a lot going on here, especially after playing ISS Vanguard yesterday. Um, but yeah, we'll try our best. Thank you for catching that. Because um, yeah, we would have been attacking nothing. And what would we have done? Well, I think. Like it would just never end because we just keep putting attack here and there's nobody to hit. We would have like. The game would have been broken. Good thing you guys caught that. All right. Uh, the next thing is, the next thing is resolve villain abilities. So we already read his ability. It's the top part on the card here. So it's a passive one. So it's not one that happens right now, but we just know it's a thing. So it's just keep in mind it's sitting there. So sometimes they're like happen a one-time shot. Sometimes they're passive ongoing abilities. Uh, the next is play Hogwarts cards and take hero actions, which is literally classic deck building style. Play your cards, resolve what's on them, spend your resources you generate. 
When you're done, you end your turn by discarding any remaining cards in your hand, any remaining tokens you have on your board, and then you drop five new cards. Next player goes. Okay, does it all over again. All right. So on my turn, uh, I'm gonna choose on my ally card. I'm just gonna generate an attack. Okay. So if we're playing by the game rules, not our usual deck playing rules, like I would just throw this here, right? Like right here is only one option, but I'm assuming later because there's three villain slots, we might have multiple villains. So I might want to put this attack here because maybe I finish off a villain in order who gives me a reward, then I use that reward to do something else. I'm assuming it gets more cool. But right now we only have one villain because they're teaching us the game, keeping it super straightforward and boring and simple. Keep that in mind. We're going to try to play through more games today, get through some of the other boxes and see the full game for those who showed up late. Okay, we're going to make the game more complex. Trust me, we'll get there. Okay, that's that card played. Uh, this one, this one, this one, and technically this one. All generate an influence. Okay, so I have four influence generated. But this one has a little more text on it. For each ally you play this turn. Whoa, I played one. Uh, you also gain an attack. Okay, so I'll gain another attack. Okay, sweet. That's my cards all done and resolved and played. Uh, but I could do things in any order, I believe. Um, so I'm going to just assign my attack that I generated. And with my four influence, let's take a look at what's in the market. There is a four cost card. And normally in deck builders, we don't know what you're doing. Just buy the most expensive <laughs> card. Okay, just buy the most expensive one, it'll be good, right? Um, but the beauty of it, once you know what you're doing, is like it's engine building. So I might have a deck focused on generating attack. Maybe Mel starts making a deck focused on healing. And she buys all the healing cards and has this whole healing engine of healing all players, healing herself. And, you know, maybe she's generating influence. You know, she's buying big cards. And I'm like over here just buying attack cards. So every time it's my turn, we're just like smashing the villain, right? Mm -hmm. Or you just generalize. It's fine. It's interesting to see if that's the way that this is set up or if we both need to be doing everything. It's whatever. Yeah. I think especially in the first game, it's probably fine. Oh, yeah, the first fine. game, I don't know. But. Um, but I see this card that doesn't let us draw cards, so I know that this I'm going to draw this card and go to play it on every single <laughs> turn that that card comes out. Um, but I'll just take this one. I could, for three costs, worry about health and attack. But I'm, I like drawing cards in deck-building games almost as much as, like, trashing cards. Hopefully we get to do that eventually. What do you like better, trashing cards or drawing cards? Trashing. Trashing. That's why I just said trashing. drawing trashing cards I like almost as much oh, as sorry. trashing. Um, so that's my cards. Uh, I spent these resources. Okay, they're gone. I'll discard all the cards I played on the turn. They go to my discard pile with the card I purchased. And then I will draw five new cards. And I'll lay them out here just so Mel can see them. And so I can think about my turn coming up. And Mel knows what's happening. So, oh, I have the uh, if I defeat a villain, I can gain an extra influence. So if you leave him at like five health and it gets to my turn, I do the one final blow, boom, I'll gain an extra influence to purchase better cards. And I also am going to fill up with another card in the market at the end of my turn. Oh, oh it's the exact same attack. card. Okay. Well, there are lots of duplicates in there. Sorry to burst a bubble, but I have no attack what? happening. So that, what? <laughs> that's not a thing I no. think this deck can do. No. So it might be smart to buy some attack. I mean, the cards in your starter deck are not that great. We're not going to well, kill the villain in one turn. Come I don't on, think man. she's focused on attack in general. <laughs> so, okay. So we're going to use our three for influence. Uh, let's do... I can choose one. Gain two or all heroes gain one influence. So gain two influence or all heroes gain one influence. You do all your other steps here? I did not. I did not. Sorry, I'm did just... Mel just skip all the villain turn Yeah, again? sorry, sorry. This no, is, this just... is not Arkham Horror the card game. You can't just, just skip excited. that phase when you want, Mel. Okay, sorry. Add, oh no, add one control to the location. No! That means that now in the villain, he's going to, each time a control is added to the location, active hero loses two health. One, oh. two. Sorry, sorry. I just got excited because my cards were already out. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I have my three. Um, actually, I'm just going to do this one first because this is the gain one because I want to count it out first. And then you may put spells you acquire on top of your deck instead of your discard pile. And then this one, choose one. I can gain two influence or all heroes can gain one. One, two, three, four. So that would give me five or it would give me six. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Just buy whatever, man. Whatever you're trying to do. What's this? You want to like uh, start buying items? Mm -hmm. This one, like some heal and attack. Yeah, any one I'm, hero heals too. You could be a healer. I'm going to just gain one, so each hero can gain one influence. So you can also gain an influence. Oh man, player. sick. Um, then I will spend three. One, two, three. I really like this card that gives Quidditch me gear? that gives me both the attack and the heal. 
Uh, that's not an item, so that's going to go here. Only spells can go on the top. And then I still have two, which so I probably should just buy. Spells. They're both the same, so if you want to buy one, you just buy it. This is an item for more anyone here heals. Uh, but this will gain money and let you put items on the top of your deck. Yeah, I should probably go with that. Let's go with that one. And this can go on the top of my deck. Oh, look at you. Of that. Okay. Oops. Uh, Yogi Bear says, my friend's six-year-old niece has completed year one, so Rob, you better not fail. Uh, uh, thanks for the pressure. Listen, I've only played this six times practicing for the stream. We did win once, okay? So hopefully we can re recreate that magic again. But if we can't win this one, we can't play the second box. You're not allowed to move on until you win. It's kind of like the crappy campaign design. There's no fail forward or anything. Um, so yeah, hopefully we're good enough to beat this first one. Hopefully. I mean, it could Yogi have been... they are a pretty good board gamer, though. No pressure. I feel the pressure, man. This is serious stuff here. Okay. When we did play this one to practice, we did play with our daughter, so it might have been her that actually won it for us, not us. Yeah, yeah. I'm so... only joking. We only played this one time, okay? Yeah. And we won. And just this... this it's point. just a tutorial. Relax, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but now the pressure is on. Pontus says, Rob, don't get your hopes up. It's fine to fail. Thank you, Pontus, for the words of encouragement. Um, it's actually not fine to fail in this game. Not on the first game. Not, not in the, the first. Tutorial. Not until we get past game three. But who knows, man? <laughs> who knows? Because again, it did say. Hey, are you done your turn? Yeah, it did, it did say advanced wizards. Like, we didn't take a test or anything. Like, how do we know if we're advanced wizards? That's what I'm saying. I'm not worried about the game until we're on scenario oh, three. Then I take it serious. Okay, you cleared everything. You discarded all your cards. Yep. Or is this your new this hand? This is my new hand. Okay. So reveal and resolve a dark events card. Expulso. Active hero loses two health. Oh no, I'm down to seven. Maybe I should have bought okay, that. Passive ability, don't worry. Heal card. Okay. Now I will generate money, 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 money. So I have five total because Mel gave me one on her turn. And I gain one attack. And if I defeat a villain, I also gain one more influence, but I don't have it. That's fine. Oh, you say there's a five cost card here and I have five resources. I'm going, to, and it's a game about defeating them, th clearing this deck faster than this deck gets cleared. So in my mind, what, what is the resource in the game that puts the gas on to race to the finish before the villains get there? It's attack, right? It's attack. And obviously if you ignore health, it's going to slow down your, your car, your tires are going to pop and stuff, and you'll have to slow down and repair them. Um, but I'm just going to keep putting my foot on the gas because it showed up and I'm going to try to get to the end before they do. And this will just gain me to attack. This goes to my discard. So I might not see it for a little bit. Uh, cause you do not shuffle your discard pile and create a new deck until you go to draw and there's nothing there. Then if anyone has ever played a deck builder, that's how it works. Usually. Um, so these will get discarded, but I'm going to spend my attack and I think I'll put it here. So he's half, half. Defeated. Dead. Okay. Uh, I'll refill this. So we have uh, Rub Rubus Hagrid. Oh, Hagrid, right? Yeah. Uh, then I'm going to shuffle, and you can go ahead with your turn. Remember to follow your reference card, Mel. Yes, yes. Follow Sorry. Your steps one I just through got four. excited on my first turn. Oh, no. The active hero loses two health. Okay. Oh, no. Man, I'm at five health already, halfway. So, villain phase, he doesn't activate against me because I didn't add a token. All right. Well. Sorry, one sec. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Brian S. says you need to clear the act deck before the agenda advances. <laughs> this is the proper way to explain the game, yes. For the Arkham Horror fans who watch the channel. Yes. Clear the act. Uh, we need to clear the act deck before the agenda clears. Yes. Correct. It's a race. All right. One, two, three, four influence. Yes. The spell artwork is super boring. But again, two. this is from USAopoly, a.k.a. the Op Games, who make all the Monopoly games out there. This is meant to be mass market. You cut costs where you cut costs. They had to pay the IP for the game. So I can see why they kind of cheaped out on component quality and stuff. It's like, especially when they made the game, they didn't know at the time either, right? Yeah. You don't know if people are going to care about this game or not. So, but again, they have to keep a price point down, right? If you're going to go into brick and mortar, like uh, Walmart's Targets, these kind of big box stores, they have requirements. Your game can't be like over a certain cost to be on their shelf. Um, so they have to like cut some things to get under that, right? And if they, you know, paid an artist to do artwork for all this stuff, unique art for the game, then we're talking like $100 premium deck building game, like the ones you find at your game, hobby game store. And then it wouldn't have made it into mass market. And then it would have probably missed out on a lot of the audience that would have purchased the game. So you got to understand that, right? That's sometimes I can't judge it based on this, like, 
if we're comparing to the harder core games we play on the channel, they're in like the hundred dollar plus, you know, kind of range. Yes, it's kind of sucky to see movie stills, but again, this was not targeting the like hardcore board gamer. This is targeting like, you know, Walmart shopper. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. So understand that going in. Uh, all right, sorry. That's okay. All right. So I've gained all my influence. You may put items you acquire on top of your deck instead of your discard pile. And then I can choose to either gain an attack or two health, which I am going to gain two health. Okay, and then I have four. I'm definitely going to purchase one of these items for two, which I can put on the top of my deck. And then... Do I purchase the other one? I feel like that's too much. I think I have to purchase this one. We'll go on my discard pile. Spending two. Okay. And two. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. If you can refill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the sorting hat has shown up. Gain two influence. You may put allies you acquire on top of your deck instead of in your discard pile. Oh, and I did leave the ally there for you because I know it works better for your yes. deck. Yes. If... Oh, another ally has shown up. Oliver Wood. Gain one attack. If you defeat the villain, any one hero heals two health. All right. Uh, Dark Arts card. Same one as last time. Active oh. hero loses two health. Oh, I, no. I do have some heal. I'm down happening. to five. <sighs> I do have any hero can heal too, so. All right. Uh, I do have, I can choose heal on this one instead of attack, but that's not the way I like playing. All right. No. One, two, three, money, at least. That's enough to get this ally. If I also defeat the villain, I gain this. So if I spend two on this guy, I still don't defeat him. So that's unfortunate. And I can't buy this guy, but I can still afford this ally. So we're good. I'm going to do that. Spend those. Get this guy in my deck. For this one... I don't know, do I care about healing? You have healing, you said? Yeah, I took the one that can heal any then I don't hero. So. I don't know. I don't know if I should be more afraid, but I think I think if you I think do more attack, should be. and then I'll just try to heal. And then I'll do this one. Okay, so I'll gain two there. Find them here. Let's get you rid of this I? guy. Oh, I could technically get rid of him. I mean, that will stop turn. him from doing more damage, yeah. right? When yeah. the location goes uh, fills up. That is true. Okay, toss these, refill this. Another spell. This one, all heroes draw a card. Oh, that's not bad either. Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Active hero loses one health and discards a card. So you choose the card. It's not discarding random. So you just pick a card in your hand, you, you throw in your discard pile. We're just going to get rid of an influence. Okay, let's do, anyone hero can gain two health. Rob, you can gain two health. This I'm at seven. Gonna gain two influence. I'm back in it, back in it. From these two. And then I can choose one. I can gain an attack, which could kill him, <laughs> or I can gain two. Would you get a benefit from killing him this turn? No. No? You so I probably just whatever. do that. Okay, so then I'll just Unless gain. Unless you want to do the heal thing. Uh, I think I'm fine right now. Okay. Gain an attack. Okay, so we'll assign the attack here. So he now has six. He's dead. Oh, sorry. Yeah, your bucket's kind of full. Oh, yeah, that is true. And then... Boom! So when he's defeated, we remove one control from location. So it's oh, back okay. to zero. And the discard pile will just throw him there, I guess. Okay. That's what that's for. And then... Oh, this doesn't get revealed till the end of the turn. So you kind of have some chill. You... Oh, I only have two, which I guess, you know what? I'll just play my role. I'll spend two, and I'll just purchase... Here. This one, which is again any two heroes or and heal any hero too. Yeah. Okay, then if you turn, you also reveal our new villain. If you want to show everyone that, and here's our new card, another copy of the item Quidditch gear. Okay. Hey, okay, what's the name, Mel? I don't know. I'll just read it. Cornus Coral. I don't know if that's how you say it. It's not how you say it, probably. I don't know. I'm not um, gonna try. So the active hero will lose one health each. Like each when time the he activates. ability fires off. This is like different. It's not passive. It just happens when yeah, the, every turn. Happens when uh step two fires off on resolve villain abilities. Okay. And then the reward for this is all heroes gain one influence and one health. 
He's okay. also six to defeat him. Yeah, so I am glad I kind of took those heals then if he's going to make us lose health each round. All right, so Dark Arts card. Oh, no. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards oh, this turn. Oh, man. Down to six. Down to five. Ugh. Oh, I did say it right? Okay, I'm... <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, see? I I'm going to apologize. You guys. I told you day. guys, as soon as I get this card, that <laughs> card will come up. I can't draw a card off this card. <laughs> so I spent four for a card that's literally just giving me one attack. This happened the first time we played, too. <laughs> Stupid. It's going to make you not want to buy those cards. No. As I think things will change in the future. So we'll see. <laughs> that is it's so like, funny. It can't happen again. Uh, so I gained my four influence. It says for each ally I played this turn, gain an attack. I didn't oh, play any allies. Right. Just didn't line up. Uh, so with the four I have, let's just get another ally in there. Okay, these are all done. I spent my resources. Uh, this will refill. Uh, this is the gain. One influence. You may put items you acquire on top of your deck. And oh, did the villain attack you? Oh, I forgot that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Marion. Yep, I forgot. Uh, then, oh yeah, draw two cards, and because my deck's empty and I need to draw up to five at the end of the turn, I will now shuffle my discard pile, including those nice juicy cards I recently bought, and they will go into my hand, three of them. Okay, whatever. Oh, I got an ally. Oh, oh, oh ally, did it work ally, out? Ally, hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, yes. yes, two allies. We got this Sweet now. Deal. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> My engine is, is working. Yes. Uh, add one control token to the location. Okay, so I'll put that one on here. And then active hero loses one health. Oh, I'm at I forgot four. To attack too. I, I'll, oh. I'll be honest, I was rushing a little bit. That's the one disadvantage to this kind of game, this classic old school deck builder type. Uh, so far, again, maybe when the game gets a little more complex, it gets more like Aeon Zen where you're kind of like, trying to work together on who buys what and who's doing what engine and all that. Um, but the downtime on other players' turns, uh, like I saw that when we played three-player off stream, is a little bit of downtime, and we're not even in the complex version-ish of the game yet. So you're kind of just chilling while the opponent, or while your other players do their turns. You're kind of just... So, yeah. So I was just trying to be quick on my turn to get Mel back. Oh, don't, don't get rush Mel for back me. the excitement. So I might, I might skip some stuff. Because I just think of what I'm going to do on my turn anyway. So don't but worry I about it. I appreciate you guys catching us. I appreciate it. Keep okay. Us We're going to gain one attack and a health. I love that card. Okay. Gain one influence. You may put spells I acquire on top of my deck. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, and then both are the same, so I may put item. So anything, item or spell, I purchase on the top. I have one attack, which I'll just assign here, and then four. I'm tempted to just take the Quidditch gear again, or Lumos, where all people draw cards. <laughs> yes, Scott. Scott says, remember when people had that patience between turns? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm just going to purchase this one. Tension spans are an all time low nowadays. You can't. And spells go on top of my deck. Ooh, so, very nice. Uh, uh, and that cost, sorry, that cost all four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. All right. We got another copy of the All Heroes Draw a Card four cost spell. Three, four, five. All right. Dark Arts card. And when the Dark Arts cards run out, we just shuffle them up and keep drawing from them. So we'll see the same ones over and over again. He who must oh, have not no. been named. Add one to the location. Uh, then villain ability, active hero loses the health. I'm down to four. No! Down to five. I need my heals back. All right. Hmm. So this guy needs four more damage? Yep. I can do one on my turn. Well, watch this. I think if my math is correct, this is going to show in a good example. Uh, so with this ally, I can choose one. Uh, so I can, uh, gain an attack or heal to health. And then this one for each ally I played, so I have another ally here. Let's do it like this. Uh, so this guy is gain an attack. If you defeat the villain, any one hero gains two health. Then this is for each ally played this turn, generate an attack. And then I have two attack here. So that's like one, two, three, four, five. He only needs four. So technically, I don't have to do this one here. But if I did do more attack than needed, it just sits there and it doesn't go on in this tutorial game. It doesn't go on for the next villain because the villain next villain doesn't get revealed till the end of the uh, my turn, so it just kind of be wasted, right? So in that case, I'll probably try to be smarter. I'll just generate this two attack. I'll generate this attack, and then for each ally I played, is two more attack. 
Oh no, sorry, I'm not generating this attack. I'm so sorry. This attack, this attack, that's three, four, five, it's still five, right? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry, this one I'm not doing though. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it still shows the example, what I'm trying to do. All right, uh, so I'll gain two off this owl. Then I will uh, gain two uh, influence. And then I will spend this. So it all goes here, and then we kind of check. Oh yeah, he's defeated. Um, uh, oh, this is just all heroes. Gain one influence and heal one when we defeat him. Uh, if you defeat a villain, any one hero gains two health. Go ahead. No, you, you heal. Thank I don't you. know. I don't know if your cards like heal you more often. I'm not sure. But, um, okay. And then with my three money, do I even buy anything? No. No? I'm not not even the Quidditch gear? No. No? Okay. No. I want my engine, I want to see allies more often. And, yeah. uh, yeah, don't, just don't bloat my deck. That's not a thing. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Eight. Oh, oh, yeah, clear that off, happened. yep, whatever. Grabby and Coil. Uh, each time a Dark Arts event or villain causes a hero to discard a card, the hero loses one health. And if we successfully fight this villain for five, all heroes should draw a card. But when we defeat this guy because he's the final villain, we just win. Yeah. Just win. And Thank you, David. Five. David, you have a great day. You have a good day, David. Hey, David. Uh, is there any way to clear the market? Again, this is just the intro game, Han. I'm not sure if eventually it starts adding those kind of mechanisms to the game. Because um, right now there's no, like, trashing cards. There's no clearing the market. And I don't know. What else would we see? Oh, there's no, like, uh, unique abilities on our heroes. I don't know. I'm assuming it's going to add a bunch of stuff to, like, Pledge it, you know, into the normal deck building stuff we're used to. I think the rule book does say that it can, but it's oh, okay. rare. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we'll have that answer for you in a couple more in a couple more games that we hopefully will play today if we can get through this intro one. Uh but there is no way if you can't afford anything, there is no way that it just automatically clears one at the end of your turn or something like other other deck builders. So I see um Michael are asking the question. Uh you don't have to, to do um Spending my influence the way I kind of do at the end of my turn, we're just doing that just because it's the flow. It doesn't seem to make a difference yet. But step three is just play your cards and take hero actions. You can do all that in like any order. Like you can just do all your stuff in any order. So I can play my cards, generate money, spend some money. That could buy a card. Then I could draw a card and draw the one I just bought. I'm assuming all that works fine. Like we could have done that stuff already, I'm sure. But I'm pretty sure you can just do anything in any order. But, oh, well, you're... Is it my turn or your No, nope, it's my turn. Yeah, go ahead. You do that. Oh, I'll sorry. look it up just to make sure. Lependo. Active hero loses one health and discards a card. Oh, man. Okay, so lose one health, discard a card. Sure, let's do this one. And then villain. Each time a dark arts event or villain card causes a hero to discard a card, which just happened, the hero loses one health. Thank you for giving me those two, because I just oh, lost no. two. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> All right, so step three right here that I was just talking about, according to the rule book, uh, as the active hero, you may do all of the following in any order you choose. So this is kind of like those classic deck builders, you know? It's just open season when you get to that step on your turn. The other steps, you still have to complete these first, like reveal a dark arts event has to happen before you resolve the villain ability, which has to happen before you eventually get to step three on your turn. But playing cards and getting resources, you do it in any order you want. Assigning attack, any order you want. Okay, and then using influence to buy cards, all of this stuff, any order you want. And I think this will make sense later right yeah. once we have more villains and things that yeah, do we... more things or even your ability if we get an ability on a card later yeah. yeah we could have been doing some of it right now a little more like you know spicy but again it's just the intro they're trying to keep it simple for the player um but i'm sure it's going to push the challenge later and we'll kind of have to do things in certain order to be efficient with our resources and our engine mm -hmm. oh, hopefully that helps hopefully that helps out 
Okay, so then I'm going to do these two cards. There's just giving me two. Oh, and I had one from that guy. Okay. And then gain an attack and draw a card. Unfortunately, I can't. So I'll just shuffle these up quickly. And then my other card here is gain two or all heroes gain one. If I gain two, I'd have five. I don't need five because there's no five cost cards. So we'll just say each hero gains one. So you can gain one influence with that. Gain one influence. Yep. And then draw a card. Oh, just gives me another one, which I didn't really need the other one anyways, but I guess it's fine. Okay. Five. Bob Chapman's here. Good afternoon slash evening, muggles. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hey, Bob. I think I'm just going to take all heroes can draw a card for four. The one remaining I can't do anything with. Discard it. And then I'll assign my attack here. Whatever you do. The next market card to show up is Reparo. Reparo. Choose one, gain two influence, or draw a card. I'm going to shuffle these dark arts cards for yeah, you because yeah, yeah. there is... I'll just draw me one whenever yeah. you are ready. Hello, Professor Chab. <laughs> Lependo, active hero, oh. loses one health and uh, discard oh, no. the card. Hold on. Before I decide my card, I know I'm going to lose the health. I'll just lose it now. But what do I need here? I'm allowed to draw cards, right? Yep. So that's good. I'll keep that. I think I'll just get rid of... He only needs one more attack and he's dead. Yeah, I'll just get rid of one of these uh, gain and influence cards, I think. Okay. All right. Uh, so I'll play this one. I'm going to draw a card. Okay, I just drew the exact same. Uh, my influence is one, two. Uh, this one will generate an attack. This one will generate an attack. This one will generate attack. And all heroes gain a health. Yes. Love it. Thank you. All right. Hmm. For three moolah. I don't really care. I don't you really want care. four? Is that what you want? Uh, I don't, at this or point. Or it doesn't matter. Like, I think, yeah, I'm, I think I'm he's okay. going to die on my turn. I don't turn. think I'm going to have another turn, but yeah, because you have an attack, right? Yeah. Just throw those there. He's one away. Uh, cost those. I didn't buy any card. I'm just going to draw. Oh, I only have three cards in my deck. So let me just do a quick shuffle. You go ahead and whatever. I'll uh, add one control token to the location. Oops. Oh, no. They almost got location one. And then this does not trigger because I didn't have to. I didn't discard any cards. Uh, this one I'll take two health. This one I'll gain an attack and a health. Oh, I'm back to full. And then three, which does not matter because I'll just spend this attack here. One, two, three, four, five. And he's dead. Oh! You mean he's stunned? Because nobody dies. They only oh, get right. stunned. They only get stunned. He's stunned. Yes, not both. And we didn't spend and this. It's fine. Death and destruction here. Success! Yay! Okay, let's divvy up our decks. Uh, let's un unset up the game. I don't know how the next part's gonna work. Um, so this is our, gonna be our, you're gonna see us open box two, game two. From here, from game two, we're gonna see what it adds to the game. We're gonna go over the rules together, and I have like literally no idea. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. I'll pull that out, and uh, I don't know if we need the current components or what. Um, I'm gonna put that here for now. Dark arts cards, villain cards. This can be clear. Oh, yeah, I, sorry. I don't I'm assuming it's all new locations. I think so, because these specifically say game one, so I assume that we'll have new locations. Uh, can you get yep, that yep. little thing in there. Uh okay. Divvy up these. Do these also say? Yeah. Okay, let's throw these in here. Oh, there's the... whatever. Those are cards for this? Yeah. You got all your Hermione cards out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Okay, so when do we get to spend experience after game one to buy new things? <laughs> what? All right. Uh, oops, I just messed that up. That's fine. Okay. Here we are. Are you ready? You guys ready for this? Spoilers. We're about to open a little legacy-ish type box. Okay. This is what I play games for. Opening secret boxes. Here we go. <laughs> What's inside? Box number two. 
Oh, we got some bent removal bent. that didn't get put in the box properly. Game two, object. As in game one, defeat all the villains before they gain control of the locations. Oh, okay. So it could change. That's cool. Woo! Oh, it folds out. Look at that. Only I had a way to look at this digitally instead. Do you? Oh, magic. Oh. Look at this magic. All right. Uh, yeah, I found it on their website. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe I should open these in case we get to them. Uh, so this is contents and setup. We're going to have three location cards. These replace the game one location stack in order. Okay, so let's... game one is right here. Oh, there's more than two. Nope, I don't have a thing there. Dang it. Forbidden Forest, so we're going to have three locations. This reveals one Dark Arts event and four look control possibly. The second card is uh, Quidditch Pitch. Each turn reveal one Dark Arts event. Okay. Uh -oh. Uh oh. It's uh -oh. escalating, everyone. The Chamber of Secrets reveal two Dark Arts events. We don't want to get there. And it oh. needs five to control that. Okay. Okay. That is our new location deck. Okay. Oh, did you smell this game? Does it smell okay? Uh, I, I, think think I, I, I think I did. I think I did. Uh, and it wasn't the greatest. No, it's it does not cheap. smell good. It's definitely cheap. Yeah, it's definitely just yeah, cheap. No. Oh, actually, I'll just smell box two that we just cracked open. Yeah. Hold on. We put the uh, specimen back in the container. These ones don't really smell like anything. Uh, oh, yeah. It's not bad, actually. It got it has that, uh, that Gen, oh, okay. Con, Gen Con uh, yeah, dealer hall smell. These smell weird, though. Daniel, Fabian, uh, thank you for subscribing. If now you just saw us smelling cards and you want to unsubscribe, <laughs> no hard feelings. Yeah, we're Sorry, it was requested by the chat to know how it smells. We're, we're huffing cardboard here. We're not going to taste it because we don't yeah, yeah. want to ruin any of the components they, right now, but maybe after we've played through it once. They actually, uh, when I purchased this copy, uh, because they knew it was me, they gave me the one wrapped in plastic because they knew I'd want to lick the cards. So this actually protects me from tasting them. Yeah. That's why they put this on here, okay? Just for safety, okay? Um, okay, what else do we have? What else do we have? We have some Dark Arts cards, uh, shuffled together with the Game 1 Dark Arts cards. Ooh, oh, okay, okay. fun! So we're not even going to look at them. Let's just shuffle them in here. You do a good pile shuffle, so those are going to show up all in there, and you do whatever. Uh, okay. We need Villain cards, shuffled together with the Game 1 Villain cards. Oh! Oh, let's not even see those two. Yeah, we need to yeah, be yeah. surprised. Okay, I'll just do a little quick shuffle, and you're going to shuffle after... Tony says our coffee smells like beer. Uh oh. <laughs> you yeah, shuffle that whenever. Uh, Hogwarts cards shuffled together with the game one Hogwarts cards. Okay, so we're just adding to the deck. Oh, nice. Okay. So there's a whole bunch of allies, spells, and items. Okay, cool. cool. So wait, now we have to fight all these villains? No. Uh, maybe. What was it again? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, defeat all the villains, yeah. Holy, oh. how many did you add? Three? Yeah, so this game, is, this game is definitely going to be longer than the first <laughs> oh, no. one. That's why I did say on BGG it was like 30 to 60 minutes. Okay. Like the intro game is definitely 30 or less. Like our daughter was like, oh, I don't really feel like playing a board game tonight. I was like, honey, it's going to be super quick. We're just playing a tutorial. Just play with us. I want to see how it is at three player and see what your impressions are of it. Just the basics, you know. She played the My Little Pony with us recently. She played other games with us deck building over the years. And uh, like, oh, it's gonna take forever because you gotta teach and all this stuff. I'm like, no, no, trust me, you'll be back playing on your computer in like 30 minutes, you'll see. And it, it was like 30, like two ish minutes to teach, play, and yeah, then talk about it, even. Yeah, yeah, and she liked it. Yeah, yeah, she likes Harry Potter, so yeah, here you shuffle these also, whatever. Let's give them a little shuffle, uh, okay. Uh, place cards on the same game board spaces for game two. If you need a reminder, the numbers refer back to setup on pages four and five of game one of the rulebook. So we're just doing one villain at a time still, right? That's what's happening? Seems like it. Okay, it says prepare your hero. Uh, this is the same as game one. Choose a hero and take that hero's deck of ten cards. I'll just do the same hero. Sure. Uh, just keep it simple. And uh, you do not get to start the game with any of the additional Hogwarts cards you acquired from game one. Return those games and shuffle them into the Hogwarts stack. You should have been more diligent 
about practicing your spells over the break. Oh, so you know what? Eventually we could potentially keep some cards based on the way that's worded. Maybe. So maybe we need to check or, or before we Or they're just being very, very clear with how deck building works to teach players to get them, ease them into it. Yeah, but I'm saying that if that's the case that that could change, we should probably check before we dismantle our decks. I don't know. Whatever. Because then yeah, you can't well, go I'll back. I'll read the rules next, okay? Yes. I'll read the rules before I, un or just before at least. I clean up. I don't know. Okay, gameplay proceeds with the same four steps from game one. Reveal and resolve dark events cards. Watch out. The Chamber of Secrets, location three of three, states to reveal two events at the start of each hero's turn. Step two is resolve villain abilities. Players must defeat all six villains, as in game one. Only have one villain face up at a time. There's my answer. Okay. Step three, play Hogwarts cards and take hero actions. Remember, newly acquired cards go directly to your discard pile. They cannot be played immediately. Yeah, they're still just teaching. They're still just reinforcing rules as a tutorial number two, basically. Step four, end your turn. Discard any remaining cards and tokens. Refill empty spaces on the game board. Reminder, if your hero is stunned, discard any influence or attack tokens you may have collected and half the cards in your hand rounded down. Add one villain control token to the location. If it is your turn, you may still play cards and take actions with whatever you have remaining after being stunned. At the end of the active hero's turn, reset your health to its maximum value of 10. End of the game. Now all the villains are defeated. Heroes win. Congratulations. You're growing even more powerful as you continue to hold back the rising uh, tide of evil. Proceed to game three. Okay. Read the rules and close. The villains control all the locations the heroes lose, but you still have some work to do before you're ready to move on to game three. Reset the game to its starting configuration and try again. Okay. That, that's all the rules we get. That's the rules. And I have them here just in case we need to reference them again. They're ready. Okay, they're ready. Oh, I gotta shuffle my deck. Game two. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you want to put this? This is our villain. Oh, womp womp. He's back. I've seen this guy We've before. We've seen this guy. So again, each time we Let's add get him, boys. control. Uh, to the location active hero loses two health. Okay. Uh... Okay. Um... I got all money this turn. Money, money, money! Oh, I'm assuming you're starting as well. Sure. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Plow. Oh, sorry. And we can set that up. Hopefully, we see some new, some of the new cards. Our first market card is Reparo. Okay. Yeah, that's. Our second one, Quidditch gear. All right, this is boring. We see. Oh, they do say game one on the top, so we can yeah, just yeah. kind of. We'll know. We'll know. We'll know if it... Whoa, oh, game, game two. two. We have a game two. All right, we're getting serious. We got Nimbus two thousand and one, the new model. Uh, gain two attack if you defeat the villain. Also gain two influence. Oh, that's not a bad card for you. Cost five, though. Game one. Whatever, Wing, Wingardium Leviosa. Game one, putting items on top of the deck. Lumos. All heroes draw a card. And the heal, heal potion. All, all game one except for one. Okay, right. There's only a few that were added, so it didn't like double the deck or anything. So definitely the odds are we're going to see more game one cards than game two. Yeah. Just fine, I guess. I hope. All right, I'm going first. Dark Arts. Game one, Dark Arts. Active hero loses one health and discards a card. Oh, we're off to... Oh, yeah, I was at 10 health. <laughs> You're at 10 health? Okay. Yep. I lost one. And uh, discarding a card, eh? One, two, three, four, five. I didn't play any allies. So this is all the same. This cards are all the same. So I'm just going down to, like, four money. Okay. Oh yeah, this guy's ability. Nope, passive, you're good. Right? Yep, we didn't add anything. Passive ability. Okay. Four money, eh? Uh, I'm gonna do the all heroes draw card one, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna take Sweet. Lumos, the all heroes draw card. Hopefully I draw that <laughs> and it's not the card that blocks card draw. But uh we'll see what happens. We could have just added more that block card draw too, that'd be fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. All right. Uh get rid of my resources, draw my new cards, replace this. And it's oh, another heal. heal. Okay. All right, game one. Uh, petrification. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Okay, that's eight, fine. Down to Don't eight. have any. So down to nine. 
And then I gain one, two, three, four, five. This is just a full money turn. Nothing fancy happening here. I think I actually just want this if you're okay with that for to add some attack to my deck. Am I okay with that? What am I? Well, the, am I the police? If it's of something the that you market? were gonna, no, you can't. Okay. <laughs> no. Take but whatever, if it's man. something that you wanted, no, then. buy good cards, play good cards. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, dark arts card. Oh, this is new. Obliviate. Obli obliviate? 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 Uh, all heroes choose one. Discard a spell or lose two health. Ugh! Uh, discard it's a getting spell. serious. Okay, I'll discard a spell. Wow. I'm gonna lose two health. I think. Spell would lose me one influence. One, two, three. I only have three. That would put me down to two. Do I really want... I want three. I want three. Yeah. I'll lose health. Um... Take three influence. I get one attack. I could choose one. I could take an attack or gain two health. I'll take an attack. And uh, for three, I'm going to buy. Uh, I like this gaining two and drawing a card. If we're going to be bigger, juicier cards in there, I feel like that's good for it. Or you just draw, which could get you into other effects. Mm, or the Quidditch gear just to keep the attack and the healing going. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. It does two things. That... Uh, maybe yeah, I'll just. This is like juicy. I'll buy the Quidditch gear if you don't like it. Yeah, I'll take the Quidditch okay. gear. Try it out. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Refill. And shuffle. I have oh, one. this is new. Sorry. What do we got? We have remove. Oh, I was wondering when we would get this. Oh, remove spicy. one control token from the location just for three. Yeah, yeah, we control them. Okay. That's how you slow it down. The fact they added more villains means they're going to, you know, that's a way to kind of balance that out and slow them down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It's probably a must. Well. Oh, yeah. I for, keep forgetting. Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I would. Neopad, I would have caught one. it eventually <laughs> when I looked down and go, where'd this come from? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you guys know, like, out of all the deck building games we play, usually they don't give you tokens and you have to manage your resources like that. Usually it's just generate them, spend them, move on. But I'm trying to, like, go with the flow of, like, building them on this board, but this feels so unnecessary. Yeah, it feels strange, but... but... Maybe later it's really needed when the game gets more crazy. So I, I don't mind. It's good for new players to learn that way. It's, like, keeps it clean. But for me, I just, I forget they're there. I'm so used to just play your cards, buy your cards, do your attack, move on. But yeah. Well, it's just weird for me. It's going to take a while to get used to it. Okay, so my Dark Arts added a control token. So each time a control token is added, I have to lose two health. Okay. Then let's see what we got going on here. Gain one. I may put spells on the top of my deck. I can either gain two or all heroes can gain one. Let me think on that. I'll gain one from here. How many attack are you doing? Just one? Just one maybe or maybe a heal. I don't know. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we we don't see like I need attack. the attack cards haven't really shown up, which is kind of scaring me. Okay, and then this one I can either if I gain one, I think I'm just gonna go for that in, in this one. So everybody can gain one uh, influence. Okay, and then I'll spend my attack here, and I'll just spend these three to grab the removing control and spells maybe put on the top of my deck instead of my discard. Oh, there's the attack. Two attack one. Oh, okay. Oh, Five. good thing you gave me money. Can you yeah, afford it now? now? I can afford it. Oh, wonderful. Wow. I knew that was going to happen, see? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dark Arts card. Oh, active oh. hero loses two health. No, down to four. Ah! So then he doesn't And you did that, right, when he placed yep. the thing on location? It's not all heroes, right? Just active? Yeah. All right, so I generate one, two, three, four. So I have five total, thanks to Mel giving me an influence on her turn. Um, which I'll use to buy this card. Nice. Now, is one attack better in this situation, or probably just two health? Because it seems like they're I'm not spicy. Doing any attack, yeah, that sucks. They are spicy. But is it just this guy that's causing the trouble? I don't know. Mm. I mean, he's only done this once. I think it's been these, right? Where you're losing two or multiple, like everybody. Okay, I'll, I'll heal, I'll heal. Yeah. I don't know. But then again, we're not, we're racing, right? So it's like, 
Yeah, but maybe heal. You have heal cards. They'll show up. Not yet. I have to buy them. Mm. I'll buy them next. I'll, I'll just heal. I'll heal. Okay. Oops. Quidditch gear. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I have one of those in my deck, so I could. Oh yeah, that'll that. be one, two, three, four, five. Oh, game two, poison. All heroes choose one. Discard an ally or lose two health. I, have I don't no have ally. an ally, so, so that's lose two health. health. Yep. Oh, man. Those are intense. Oh, yeah. Where are my allies? What is going on here? <laughs> Sleeping intense. in, I see. All right. We're going to remove one control from the location. Yeah. Then I'm going to do one, two, three. One, two, three. And then this one can give me... One, me two, or you, or both of us one. Um, I only need those heals, I think. So I'm only gonna take one. You can, we'll both take one. Okay. Okay. And then I'll spend two. Nothing goes on top. So it's well, actually, could you not buy like one of this too and that? I could. Because it'll get us in more cards going too. Because it's like mainly junk okay, here. Okay. So then don't take the one. Yeah. So I, I'll take both. I think that's better. Buy this one, and then I'll buy a Quidditch gear as well. For three. Yeah, instead of buying just this, like, you know, maybe it's too much heal. I don't know. I don't know. All right. We've got another Reparo. They got three of them in here. What the heck? And oh, the. Oh, uh, another one. Super Broom. Uh, gain two attack if you defeat a villain. Also gain two influence. Me I do likey. have. See, I have a Super Broom too. Me likey, but I don't have the money for that. But I wouldn't even if you gave me. Oh, okay, I was going to say. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't. So I only got one hit on this guy. Justin, I assume we can do that. Justin says, um, choose to lose an ally, then nothing happens, or not allowed to pick an option you can't do. I assume... So it usually depends on the game. Most serious board games we play, you can't choose an option that does nothing. Yeah. Because then you're kind of like really game in the game. Uh, maybe you can do that in this game. There's probably an FAQ for it that answers that question. But we're just going to rule it that way and make it a little more challenging for us. Yeah, because I assume you can't. You can look that up. I don't know the answer to that. Maybe someone in the chat knows. But I, somebody did mention earlier there is an FAQ for this game. So that probably answers that stuff. But it's, it doesn't seem to be in the rule book they gave. It's very tutorial based. It's not, it doesn't get into that serious kind of stuff. It's just it's the basics of the game, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, Dark Arts card for you. Uh, Dark Arts card, yes. Hand of Glory. Active hero loses a health. Add one control to location. Oh. And what happens when we add a control to location? He will Draco, make you lose two Draco health. Draco says I lose two more. I'm yeah. down to one health, just like that. Holy, we're in serious town. Oh, Tim says I'm correct. Okay, that's what we thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Most games, that's the way you do it. Is if you, you can't just choose an option that doesn't change the game state. It's not designed to be that way. Then it, you make the game much easier for yourself. Yeah. Well, good question, Justin. Uh, Some games let I you do manipulate had... though. Some games give you control, let the player decide because it's a more difficult game. Um, oh, man, you're at one health. Yeah, this is a crazy town, man. The game got serious. I wish I could give you these two that I have here, but it's only for myself. Oh, it's all good. All right. Uh, all heroes draw a card. Thanks. Oh, I have a way to get health right here. So I got one. I'm up to two. Holy. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm getting two attack. If I was able to defeat him, I would have gained another extra influence, but I do get three influence. And with that three influence, I just get, I'm going to get a card out of here. I just want to see other stuff. This will help draw a card at least. So it kind of replaces itself. Um, but yeah, it's kind of putting junk in my deck. So I mean, it's not smart. Uh, and assign my two attack. He is one away. One nice. Away. I can kill him and then get the bonus from that, which is good. Okay. Hopefully this is nothing. Oh, sorry, actually, we probably should refill yeah, this refill. first. Okay, game one, we saw him before already. Oh, there's an ally. Oh, that guy will heal us, too. Active hero loses one health and discards a card. Okay. Loses a health, down a four, and discards a card. And I'm just going to discard this one. Just a spell. Okay. Uh, we're going to gain two health here. We're going to gain two... Uh, oh, sorry. He doesn't attack me because I didn't add a token. Two here. Uh, gain one, and I may put spells on the top of my deck. And then gain two attack, which I will just spend right now here. And then if you defeat a villain, also gain two influence. Boom. So we defeat him, and when we defeat him, we get to remove one control token from location. Nice. 
Uh, so Marion brings up a point in the chat, says it's better to just go stunned. It's not worth healing you up to 10. I think your statement is incorrect in a few ways. Uh, nobody here is trying to heal up to 10. This, like I explained earlier in the game, is just another resource. Just like your influence, just like attack, your health is an influence. If you're sitting at 10 the whole game, you're focusing too much on this resource, you're obviously missing out on another one, and your the game balance will be thrown off, and you'll probably lose in the long run. So yes, if you're thinking it's one or zero, black or white, there's only two options of being at 10 or stunning yourself, that is incorrect. You kind of want, I think, be in the middle in most games like this that involve a health. You're okay, literally go down to one. Stunning, all it does is slow you down. You don't want to be slowed down either. So as long as you're above the amount where you'll get stunned, you're fine. I'm sure there's reasons maybe later where cards might come up. If a hero's at five or less, it gets more bad. They could add that stuff to the game, which could change that. But right now, the way this resource works is I never care about being at 10. I only care about not being stunned, if that makes sense. So when I'm up to two health, I'm scared because... Uh, that we've seen things that do damage and, and compound each other, so I could go stunned, right? So I think if you're right now, based on what I've seen, if I'm at three or above, I kind of feel a little comfortable. So that, that's where I'm at. So that's what I think, Marion. Uh, your statement has some truth to it, but I just don't think it's like, yeah, that's not a tip I would, yeah. But I think I think the way that, that they're saying it is more so spending, like you're saying, spending cards to make sure you're always at 10. Yeah. That's, yeah. I don't think, where, you need to do I don't that, think yeah. that matters. I think if you can stay somewhere between yeah. like eight and four, mm -hmm. you're good because you're not going to like instantly get stunned and lose your resources and half your deck. But yeah, that could change but, later. That could change later in the game. Maybe there's something later where it's like you want to be up higher health. I don't know. Yeah. So that could that could be more accurate later. Um, Sorry. I'm just buying my card. I have five. I could buy another one of um, the super brooms. But is that overkill? Oh, can you afford a super I have a room? visual example right here, sorry, on that point. So what this card really says to me uh, is, would you like to spend two health to gain an attack? Okay, so this is how you, you need to kind of look at these games. So I either say I could increase this resource, but if I don't, I'm kind of like spending it to choose attack. So you have to decide at some point which resource you want and what you want to spend. Or I'm choosing to spend attack to gain two health if you want to look at it that way. So I'm deciding to slow my victory condition down so that I'm not slowed down later. So it's like, do I want to be slowed down by this card or do I want to be slowed down by the stun effect? So it's your choice. Like, it, it, it's, it's like, you know. But I like these cards because I had one yeah, yeah. and I killed the villain with this one. I Whoa. didn't I didn't need. So now it's like, okay, well, it's just, I might as well just take the health. Um, I'm going to. Yeah, you do go back up to 10 health when you do get stunned. But again, it's more about slowing you down because you lose half your, you basically lose a turn kind of, right? You Partial, have to lose yeah. half your cards rounded down and you can only kind of do with what you have in your hand, which is probably not a lot because then you might not be buying any cards. You might not really be doing much damage. So it's kind of like a waste of turn, and then the villain still gets full turns. So you kind of don't want to lose turns. But if you're just sitting there healing all the time, you are losing turns. Yeah. You're not getting, you're not progressing your victory condition, right? Yeah, there's like a balance for yeah, sure. Okay. Definitely. I'm balance, gonna, that's the keyword there. Then five. I am going to buy super broom number two. So I have two super brooms. And I'm done. One. Sorry, will you just refill that one? Mm-hmm. Uh, Gilderoy Lockhart, draw a card, then discard any one card. If you discard this card, draw a card. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's cool. Interesting. Gets a cheap ally in the deck. Could draw into more allies and work with my ally machine. Maybe. All right. Oh, yeah. Villain. New villain. Oh, yeah. New villain. Sorry. Oh, man. It's classic Tom Riddle, who I have no idea. I do not remember him at all. For each ally in hand, active hero chooses one. Oh no! <laughs> I just talked about doing my ally machine, and this guy came out and says, uh uh uh. -huh. And the reward all heroes choose one, gain two health, or search the discard pile for an ally and put it in their hand. He's six health, this guy. So we He's, need to quickly. Needs to go. <laughs> yeah, because he breaks your. I haven't even started buying allies yet, and this guy shows up. What is he doing? And we all have one ally, so. All right. All right, Dark Arts. So for each ally in my hand... Not yet, you have to do this, I'm sorry, oh, sorry. sorry. I thought I... Oh yeah, sorry. 
Oh, oh activate oh. loses two. Boom, boom, I'm stunned. Here we go. That's not what I wanted to happen, but it happened. All right, so we get to see it at least. Discard all tokens and half the cards in your hand. So if this happened some other way, I guess. Uh, half the cards in my hand rounded down. I will discard. And since I'm going to heal up. Uh, hmm. If you get rid of an ally, you don't have to lose two health or discard a card. Oh, I see. Hey, but it's up to you because that happens first. Oh, yeah, that's but a good idea. Good idea. It's up to you. Good idea. Let's dodge that one. <laughs> I just want to damage him so bad that I was like, I'll keep it. I don't care. All right. So now uh, add one to this location and I heal up to 10. Add one. Oh, yep. I don't heal up to 10 yet. I heal up to 10 at the end of my turn. Yeah. That's right. Which is weird. Yeah, okay. Anyways. So now here, for each ally in your hand, you don't have any. So it whiffs. Okay. I dodged that bullet, sort of. Oh. Oh, yeah. Search your hand for an eye. All right. So now, all heroes draw a card. Okay? Oh, all heroes thank draw you. a card. Okay. Uh, choose one, gain two money, or draw a card. I will draw a card. This is just putting you back. Yeah. That's nice. No, no. It, it's I'm on purpose. Uh, okay. So I gain two influence. No, I don't care about that part. Uh, oh, I gain one here. For each ally you played this turn, I didn't play any. Okay. So I'm gaining two attack here. I gain one attack here and one health. Whatever. I don't know if that works. Um, oh, sorry. I don't gain this two because I drew a card. I drew a card. That's right. I chose to draw the, drew the card. So this one money doesn't matter. That's what I, I meant. Uh, okay. So let's assign this here. Okay. And yeah, I'm not buying anything. That's me. Ten? Yeah. Okay. And then I heal up to ten at the end. Draw. Add a control to the location. Oh no. We're at two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. This doesn't trigger. I have no allies. Um Yeah, so see then... how that hurt me though? Like I could have had enough money to probably buy at least an ally. I could have chosen to do things different, obviously, to buy cards instead there, but I wanted to just do damage. I, I chose that over of drawing into cards and maybe finding more damage, and it, I did, so. Okay, gain an attack and a Definitely health. Definitely slowed me down, because now it's going to take even longer to get these guys in my deck if I want. But maybe that's good, because maybe that gets them through this guy. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, anyone hero gains two, I'll take myself, because oh, we're yeah, yeah. full. And then one, two, three, four. Influence. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Ooh, I don't really want any of these cards, so I need to get through them, though. I'll spend three, and I'll just purchase this one, which is choose one, gain two, or draw a card, I guess. Attack goes here, and then this one just goes away. It's <coughs> Dobby, bless you. Thank you. Dobby, the house elf. Oh, he removes one and draws a card. Look at this spicy guy. Oh, that's good. Hello. Spicy. Oh, I got double broom. All right. Dark cards for me. Active hero loses the health. Add a uh, thing to the location. Oh, no. Three out of four on here. Okay. Villain ability. Uh, I don't have allies in hand. We're good, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to gain one, two, three, four money. Or influence, I should say. Influence. Uh, I gain one attack, and if I defeat a villain, I also gain oh, one, one but I don't. So whatever, I'll just sign that there. With the four money, hmm, I don't know. These are both awesome. I think I'll go with Toby. Okay, place, draw two, I need to shuffle. Oh no, we're adding uh, locate, uh, control, which will fill this to four. No! Oh my god. They got one. So, I thought with our slowing down effects, we'd hold them off a bit longer. Right there, right? Uh, uh, Is there a spot for discard? I don't know, maybe just throw it in the discard pile right here. Okay. I don't know. Just a discard. Same shape. I don't know. Okay. Uh, for each ally in hand, I have to choose one. Lose two health. I'll lose two health. Okay. Uh. Let's gain two health. 
gain one. Let's gain one, and I may put spells I purchased oh, on top of my deck. Oh, does it not clear right away as soon as it's full? Or is it end of turn we check it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, you're right. because you might have a chance if you you're have a right. card that removes it. I, I think, right? I do not, but you're right. You only might draw. Do you have draw? No. Oh, you suck. You're right, you're right, yeah, you're right. it might be the end of a turn thing, I forget. It is. I'm, I'm uh, getting overexcited here. Yeah. Sorry. Kind of like the villain. Oh, the villains go away right away, but they don't get refreshed till the end. Okay, then I'm going to gain two attack and two attack, so four attack. Oh, this is so overkill. Okay. Yeah, at the end of the turn, the location still has the required um, control on it. The villains gain control of it. Discard the location as the battle moves on to the next one in the stack. The villains gain control of all. So even in like the last card of the game, they could slap enough on there, and you could still have a chance to remove it That's and stay true. in the game. Which I do have cards that remove it, so it's, it's not... not doesn't make any difference this turn, but it could in the future. So I do see why that could be a thing. Okay, uh, then I'm going to put all these four overkill on this guy. Oh, we appreciate it, guys. We want to play the game right and show it off right, too. Yeah, I just and forgot. Obviously it's good to have like these habits now as we get into the more advanced stuff later. Yeah. That makes sense. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, so we're going to defeat this guy. Overkill defeat. Because my two Ooh. room did four damage when he only needed one. There's some of those for you. Um, all heroes choose one. Sorry, gain... To help or search their discard pile for an ally and put it in their hand. I don't have a discard pile. I don't so have an ally. I'm just gaining a health. So I'm I just going to gain weak two, but I can only gain one. Okay. And then if you defeat a villain, also gain two. And then this one, if you defeat a villain, also gain two. Two, four, six. Six, you say. And spell. What is it? It. Show us, Mel. Show us. What is this card? It is Gain 2. The Game 2 card. Ex and draw card. Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. And draw card, which is good. Oh, but spells go on top of my deck. Oh, we're going to see that next turn. Okay, and that's all my influence. Two, three, four, five. Uh, sorry. Another oh, yeah. Reparo. Way too many of those in the deck. Our next villain. Oh, we just got these guys again. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Five health. Uh, each time a dark arts event or villain causes you to hero to discard a card. Lose a health. Okay. My turn? Yep. Dark arts card. Active oh. hero loses two health. Pew pew. Okay, you didn't discard right. a card. All right, all heroes draw a card. Oh, I don't have a, a deck. Hold on. I uh, gain one, two, three, four, five influence. <laughs> Oh, now the location. So sorry, so sorry, so sorry. Yes, yes, yes. We're getting things out of order. Now this location comes out. And I'll just buy Hagrid. And throw away the one that's left. Okay, replace another Quidditch gear. Okay. Oh, gain two. Discard an item or lose two health. Discard so an if item. you discard a card, though, you'll also lose a health. No, I'll lose two health. Uh, yeah, I'll lose two health also. Going to eight. Okay. Um, we'll do this one first. Gain two attack and draw a card. Can't remove any control from a location. And then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. You only have three. Okay, because I have the I can gain two or everybody gains one. Uh, we'll be both gain one. We can gain an influence. Thank you. I'll put my attack here. I'll spend three. For a Quidditch gear. I don't want any more, but I just want to cycle the deck. I guess I'll just... It's fine. I just want to cycle the deck. I know, but you may be putting junk in your thing. It's fine. These are not bad when they come up. I'm, like, I'm not sad when they come up. You good? Yep. All right. 
Got another spell here. The letting you put items on top of your deck, gain you money. And then another all heroes draw card. I do like that. That's not bad. Make up, uh, build big turns. Okay, dark arts, last one in the deck for me. All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. Uh, oh, I have a draw card one. Oh, of course. Yep. All right. Uh, I have this ally remove one from the location. There's none there. So literally Dobby's doing nothing for me. That's great. Uh, I'll generate an attack. I'll heal a health. Uh, I get three more resources. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll just spend two on this guy and throw away the other two. Okay, while you're doing that, and I'm just going to shuffle these dark art cards. There. Yep. Four cards and another one. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And we're going to put a new card in the market. Uh... Al Albus Dumbledore. All heroes. Oh. Get one of each resource and draw a card. Oh. Each cards are resources too, so. I like that. One, one. of everything. Uh, all heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. All right. Lose a health. Uh, don't, didn't discard, so we're good. Um, let's do gain an attack and a health. Uh, any one hero can gain two health. That will be you. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do this one to gain an attack. That will be enough to defeat him. You can't draw a card, which is unfortunate, but I guess it's fine. Still better than nothing. Gain one. Oh, yeah. And then gain one. I may put spells I acquire on top of my deck. I don't even want any spells. I just want to save up for that ally guy. So let's put these two here. This will kill him, uh, stun them. Stun him to the discard pile. <laughs> and then... So I'm... all heroes draw a card, but again this says, uh, all heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra cards this turn. I'm just going to throw those away. I don't need them. All right. All right, my turn. Yeah. Oh, uh, this first. Oh, yeah. At your end of your turn. Oh. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have Mr. Q. Uh, active heroes... Lose one health is his ability. Oh, that's oh off. man. Oh, I got Six two health rooms. also. Okay, dark arts card. Oh, what? What? Another, another, yeah. So I can't choose a draw card on this one. Oh. Uh, yeah. This card. I hate this card. This is the worst card for me. Uh, all heroes lose one health. One health. One health. And Six. we cannot draw extra cards. This guy says active hero loses a health. I'm down to five. Uh, I will. Obviously not choose draw a card here. I'll choose to gain to Mula. I can do I four attack if you can do two at all. Uh, hold on. And then how much do we need? Six. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll do four attack. Oh, you only you only need to do two if that matters. Only like I I can do two. Why? Because I can do four on my turn. So if there's things that your cards can do oh, differently. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So either way, I generate three. Can't okay. stop that. Yeah. This will get me. Two health instead. And. Yeah, that's it for our money. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just not buy cards. I'm good. And then uh, I'll just assign three attack. Discard. Draw. Nothing else. Go ahead. Yeah. Active hero loses one health and discards a card. Okay, lose a health, discard a card. Active hero loses a health. Down to four. Oh no! Then I will generate four attack. One, two, three, four. I will put that. We can draw cards, yes. I'll put all that here. Yeah, we can. So that is two, four, six, seven. So he is defeated. Boom. And when he's defeated, all heroes gain an influence and a health. An influence and a health. Okay. Uh, if you defeat an, a villain, gain two influence. And I have that times two because I have two of them. And then gain one. 
two, four, six. And then here I can choose to either gain two or draw a card. I'm going to gain two, which will be eight that I'm going to spend to buy him. Two, four, Spicy. six. Spicy. Dumbledore, yeah. eight cost. Look at Baller Mel over here buying the big card. Boom. And hopefully I see him soon because I have no cards left. So I'm shuffling my deck right now. After uh, he comes in and gives you those resources, does he play at the end of the round? I don't know. I and don't his name's Gandalf? So. <laughs> I think that's what happens. <laughs> All right, this is a replacement card in the market. A hey, Gravinsky, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Uh, we found the sorting hat. Oh, again. Okay, gain two. All right. Uh, all right. I don't think I want to buy any more cards, actually. Active. Okay, it's not the one to stop me from drawing cards. Good stuff. Active here, lose two health. Boom, boom, oh, down to six. Let's see what I it's... lose. Oh, nope, oh that's yeah, okay. it's different. A Baskalisk. Oh, eight. Heroes cannot draw extra cards. Oh my <laughs> god. This is the worst. Why do you give me all these cards that let me draw cards and then you don't let me draw cards? Oh my. This guy's my nightmare. We got eight health too. Okay. But he lets you remove all the problem from the location. That's pretty huge. If we even had any there. But all right. So <laughs> let's start with this card. Draw a card, then discard one card. If you discard uh, this card, draw a card. But you can't. But I can't draw you a card. You can't draw a card. So I'm assuming since I can't draw a card, then I can't discard one. So uh, that does nothing. And then I have uh, remove one from location, but of course there's none there. And then I'm going to try to draw a card, but that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, no. uh, then I will play this, and all heroes can draw cards. Oh, oh my god, oh, your mind. whole hand is drawn. Never mind, nobody can draw cards. <laughs> this is worse than being stunned. Uh, then I'm going to gain two money, so I have three. Oh, wow. Well, I might as well just buy one of these so when, you know, I can't draw cards, I can do something else with it. So, whatever. So stupid. Oh my god, that's funny. Yeah, half my deck is dead because this guy's hanging out. Yeah, that was the worst one to come there. We still have... Oh, we got one more after him. Okay. Ooh. Oh, who's this? It's Fox the Phoenix. Uh, choose one. Gain to attack or all heroes... Heal to. That's a spicy one. I'll okay, that. that's good. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. Uh, all heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. Um, you like drawing cards in a deck building game? Don't buy this game. It is anti draw. <laughs> anti draw. It's a draw hating game. <laughs> I can only imagine how much worse it gets. Uh, so we all have to choose to either discard an item or lose two health. Are you sure? Tim says, Rob, are you sure you know how to play games? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to discard an Sorry. item, I think. So we all, do yeah, we all have to discard an item or lose two health. I'll discard an item or I'm lose gonna two health. I'm going to discard an item. Because it's just going to balance it out. So I'm going to lose two health. Okay. And then I have one, two. Uh, oh, sorry. This doesn't matter. <laughs> one, two, three, three. One, two, three. And then I can choose. To either gain two or draw a card, but I can't gain. I can't draw two, or I can't draw cards. So I gain two. So I have five. Do I buy the phoenix, or are you? Do you have enough to buy the phoenix? Uh, <laughs> so one, win? two, three. No. Okay, so I'll just buy it then. Yeah, you buy whatever, man. Yeah, we need attack. Yeah. Happening. Okay, done. One, two, three, four, five. Give me my double brooms. Oh, there's a nice one. Attack and draw a card. Yeah, we know yes. what's going to happen when that card gets played. I love how these keep coming together. All right, Dark Arts. Active hero loses the health. Add a control to location. I'm down to three health. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, uh, I gain one attack. All heroes gain a health. I gain an attack. And a health. I gain two... Influence. Then I gain an influence, and for each ally I play this turn, I gain an attack. Oh, I can do five. We can kill him. Please. Uh, right. And then for this three... No. Don't care. Good. Active hero loses one health and discards a card. Discard one of these. I don't care anymore. Okay, so my br double brooms do four. One, two, three, four. And my ally does one for five. 
So we'll put all five here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Defeated. Defeated the Basilisk. Sorry, here's one. Boom. And what's he do? Yeah, that's right. All heroes draw a card and remove that from the location. Cool. Bam. But I got... Old Dobby's here. Maybe he'll actually get to draw stuff this turn. I got Harry Potter Gandalf in. He can't do much. You got Harry Potter Gandalf? Um, so then I have double time. If you defeat a villain, gain two. So I get that twice. So I gain four influence. Two, three, four. I gain one. Um, Last one. Yeah. Ooh. All heroes gain an attack, an influence. Gain an attack and an influence. Oh, whoa. All heroes gain attack, influence, a a health. health. Got it. And draw a card. Oh, like he's broken. Spicy. Oh, gain two attack. <laughs> I wish. And draw a card. Gain one. Okay. Two, four, six, seven. I don't want any more cards. Mm. I'll just maybe buy this. Just so we maybe we can see more fun stuff. Because that, that's it. Because now yeah, that yeah. I'm seeing this whole draw, you can have like big turns. But attack is good. That's, and then these attack oh. all... Unfortunately, get lost. Oh, wow. Okay, the next card in the market is putting items on top of the deck, gaining money. Nothing, two, nothing to write home about. Five. Our new vill our final boss, the final boss is Lucius Malfoy. Oh, Draco's, Draco's dad. Father. Each time control is added to the location, remove one attack from all villains. Oh, no. That's okay, going to be a problem we, later. We don't care about the reward because he once we defeat him, we win. He's seven health. Oh, Bob Chapman says, Rob, can you check the like button is working? It does not seem to be registering when people are hitting it. Are people hitting it? Let's check. Come on, people, hit that like button. Let's see if it's working. Uh, yeah, there's like 98 viewers and only 48 likes. I understand not everyone what? liking me playing Harry Potter on the channel. And they're not having a good time, so it's not, you know, they don't, well, want, they don't want to click the button. I understand. I understand. Do you think that's the case when there's like 100 people here? Yeah, they're here. They're here, but, but they're, they're not liking They're not enjoying themselves, okay. so it's, it's fine. Maybe we're not doing well enough for them. And But the ones who forgot to click the like button, click it. And the ones who don't know about the like button, click the like button. Because the YouTube algorithm will see that as you like this stuff. And it will recommend similar content to you. And it will also recommend our channel and videos to other viewers out there on the YouTubes who might like similar things that you like. Uh, so it helps the channel grow, helps more people join the chat, you know, helps us just get better. So it's all good. If you like the channel, you want to support us, it's free. Just click that little thumbs up. It does a lot more than you assume it does. But thank, oh, it thank like you, Bob, for bringing that Thank up. you so much. Oh, Michael accidentally... Oh, crud. I clicked the report button instead. Uh, oh, no. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> Edgar says, hit it twice to check. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't hit it twice. It hits no. All right. Okay. You need to say the spells more. It's funny as hell, probably. Listen. Because we don't know how to say no, them. No, <laughs> I'm not going to butcher them over and over again. All right. I can't even read like regular normal, words, everyday words. <laughs> like, I'm not reading fantasy made up words. Okay. <laughs> Like, what did everyone do who read the books before the movies came out? Well, you just make them up in your head how you think yeah, they're supposed to Yeah, but what about it? those people who never saw movies but read all the books? People who make fun of them because they don't know how to say the spells? Unless you're reading it out loud, no one knows you're know. saying it wrong. Yeah, but even the movies, like, I only saw them once and it was so long ago. I, I didn't sit there noting down, like, okay, I gotta make sure I can say this one correctly. Hold on, rewind. Let me, let me listen again one more time. Even though they say some of the spells, like, 87 times in the movie, I remember, but I, I don't remember them. It was the cheesiest part. It's kind of like cringy uh when they yell at the spells but uh yeah it wasn't wasn't the a most appealing part to me of the movies i do want to say too there's been a lot of comments and thank you so much a lot of people are saying they're glad to see us playing this on the channel like it's a lot of I know it's a game that a lot of people kind of came into the hobby with or they're playing with yeah. their family or playing with non-gamers and that's awesome i mean we've been told for years that we should try this game and they want to see us play it on the channel it's just, again, I wasn't the biggest Harry Potter fan, yeah. so, but it's like, I watch them now with my daughter, I've seen them all, so it's like, oh, I understand, they're, they're cool, it's fine. They're good napping movies. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, where are we at? Okay, uh, I don't know, um, I think I went, because oh, I played... Yeah, hold on, our likes are at 65, viewers 100. Oh, thank That's you to okay. the 100 of you that I are watching. I appreciate it, we've hit 65 likes, that is pretty awesome during a live stream, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. If we could hit to 100 before the stream ends... 
Yep. Actually, what do you say? Maybe we'll say, because we knew we were at like tons before it even started, if we can hit 100 likes before this game ends, we'll play the third one. Let's put okay. it that, today. So it's on you. Today. If you'd like to see us continue. Yes. If you want to see us continue, I'm now, I'm now holding you hostage. I'm holding the next game hostage. That's right. It's gotten serious. If you haven't, Black if you've mail. already liked it, go find a yep. friend and <laughs> ransom. Like it. There's a crime. You can report me now. I'm, I'm holding holding you hostage. There's a crime happening. Uh, we don't continue today unless it hits 100 likes, which I know is possible because it already had a bunch of likes before we even started today. Oh, yeah. So, and I know some of you just showed up and stuff. So, I so appreciate it. It'll help other people. Keep reminding people, people then. <laughs> if you want to see games like this on the channel too, hit that like button. Mm -hmm. It helps me see what you guys want to watch and what you like. Helps other people find it. And then it gets more views and more watch minutes. And then it pops up and YouTube starts showing me in the background. This video did really good. You should do more of this. And I go, oh, okay. Thanks, YouTubes. Brian, thank you so much for the super chat. Go find a friend midstream. <laughs> or just tell people in like 10 minutes when they show up. Hey, click the good button. Yeah, um, Brian, super chat. He needs you to read that out. Oh, uh, Brian with the super chat. $2. Thank you so much, Brian says. Cassius Acceptus. <laughs> Beautiful spell, my friend. Beautiful spell. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the support. <laughs> um, I think it's your turn. Uh, okay. But I don't know why you have so many cards. Because you played uh, Harry, oh, Harry yes. Potter Gandalf. That went yeah, crazy. I was like, I can't remember what's happening. Yeah, yeah. You broke the game. <laughs> yeah, Harry Potter Gandalf. That's the name. He who must not be named. Hmm. Which is, uh, who is he again? Voldemort? Uh, no. The one we're not supposed to name. Uh, isn't that who we're not supposed to name? No, it's an Arkham Horror. Oh. Uh, Forget, the one we got punished if you say his name ever. Is it the Yogg guy? Yogg Sokoth? Is it I that don't guy? Know. I'm not sure, I can't remember. The guy in yellow or something, Yeah. Right? The, the, yeah. Oh, that's not Yogg. Someone will know. Someone will tell us. Can't remember. The one that we're never supposed to say. I blanked him from my memory. It's Haster. Haster. It's Haster. Haster. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Oh, I said it. Oh, oh there, said it multiple it times. Uh-oh. Yes. Don't look behind you, everyone. You've said it too many times, guys. It's going to jump out of the mirror. <laughs> All right. Uh, do we add one to the location? I just did. Okay. And then each oh, no. time it is added to the location, remove one attack from uh, all villains, but there is none. none. There. Okay. All right. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get pretty crazy on this turn. I have, I have, I have a lot of cards. i got to make sure I do this right. i got to take it slow. Okay. I have yep. stuff from Mel's turn. Mel's the MVP. Yes, I saw that. that is <laughs> well, not Mel. Hermione. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this money, 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 money. So I'll just have four monies here, okay, or four influence, okay? So I have five total. Okay, these are resolved. This one gives me an influence, so I'm at six. For each ally I played this turn, I have two here. Uh, so I gain two attack from that. And this one removes that from the location. Oh, yeah. I get to draw another card, which gains me another money. This one, I could choose one attack or gain two health. I'll do an attack. Okay. And then, I think that's that. Uh, then you can see why it's so annoying when you can't draw extra cards, right? Because you can yeah, have these yeah. big turns. Yeah, I know, I know. That's what I was trying to build for. Yeah. I love that. And deck building games just keep drawing and drawing and drawing. And it's like, oh man, look at the amount of money I got. I was trying, I was working for the Dumbledore strategy right from the beginning of the game and I didn't even know it. <laughs> uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh... I'll just buy this all heroes draw a card for four money. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird that it doesn't refresh the thing on your turn. I know. Only, I, I love thing. that in deck building user constantly starts showing new stuff. But I'll, I get it. I'll just throw this three away. It's fine. I get it. Okay. All these go away. One, two, three, four, five. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Uh, Choose one, gain two, or draw a card. Okay. We've seen this many times. Oops. Oh, son of a gun. Uh, okay, add one of these here, and now we have to remove one of your attack from here. What? D. Lopez in the chat says there's an alternative rule or a house rule or something. This would be genius and fix the whole idea that the game doesn't have a way to clear market cards. Oh. And we keep buying junk in our deck, which I don't like. Uh, D. Lopez says you've got to play with the two alternative rules. One where you stack alternative copies of the same card on top of each other in the market to always have six unique cards showing. 
Oh. I have a feeling that's definitely a weakness in the game when you just keep getting flooded with the same cards at the beginning of the game, which aren't that great, or later in the game when you need, like, attack, and it's just not churning. And then if you're buying those cards, sometimes you get too many junk cards in your deck. I mean, it's, it's going to be a problem until we can get removal. Yeah, and I don't know if that's even a thing, but that probably not if that's a house rule that's used. That's interesting, D. Lopez. And, and the other one is once per game, you can remove all market cards and replace them. Does once, it have to be a unanimous, like a once per game as a group or a once it, per game as a person? Like Rob yeah. can do it once and I can do it once. Yeah, D. Lopez, what is the official ruling on that house alternate Sorry. rule? I'm assuming it's like a fan made rule, not a. Uh, is it an official from the designer kind of rule that's an alternative? But that's cool. That's neat. That does fix a couple issues with the game that feel very dated uh, with basic deck builders. Mm -hmm. Is yeah, not having a way to clear market cards and not having a way to trash cards I see so far. And uh, yeah, seeing repeats a lot is kind of lame. Oh, as a person. Okay, so you could do oh, it once okay. and I could do it once. That's kind that's of cool. That's cool. Oh, Toy Story introduced the stacking as a base rule. Oh, okay. oh yeah, because I guess for kids, right, it would be boring. Yeah. Oh, oh the, the designer posted post on BGD. Okay. okay. Good to know. Hopefully somebody out there that didn't know about that, you just gave them some extra info. That's great. I appreciate it. I don't remember ever reading that you can pay two to clear it. It might be a different one. There was other ones where you could do that. Um, and Toxify, maybe that's in one of the expansions. Maybe that's in one of the later um, games uh, from this box. But saying maybe it's a different deck builder. There is a deck builder I remember that you can spend two. Was that? I don't um, remember. I don't remember. So many. All right. Who's turn? My turn. Yeah. I've already done this part. I'm just going on to my cards. Gain an attack and a health. And we're at 75 likes. So I don't know if we're going to be playing game three today, but uh, you have some time. You have like four health uh to get there so click that like button if and you possibly want. a bathroom break <laughs> and, and, well, and during the bathroom break yeah <laughs> we'll have to use the bathroom. Uh, absolutely uh and we'll come back after the break and we'll check if we're at 100 likes we'll play the third one if not we'll play it sometime in the future or something i don't know maybe Six. maybe we never play it and you'll be to blame as you didn't click the like button yeah 76 now it says oh okay um any uh, maybe hero set the bar lower but I feel like... I think, I think it's doable. Yeah. It is doable. Because I know some people came and left. Not all these I people I know some people have... liked the video when I posted it the other day. So yeah, I feel like there's enough unique people here. Yeah. That can interact with it. And even if you're watching on an Xbox, a PlayStation, a Fire Stick, an Android box, grab the remote, hit the middle button. It will bring up the thing and you can click the thumb button there. If you're laying back on the couch watching, you can like videos. I know because I do it all the time. It's possible. You can gain two health. Yeah. Uh, gain one influence. Gain one influence. You may put spells you acquire on top of your deck. Choose one, either gain two or everyone gains one. Uh, I don't really want anything. So I'll, we'll say both can gain one in case you want something on your what turn. What am I gaining? One influence, sorry. All right. I'll put this attack here. And I'm not purchasing any cards, so we'll just lose those. Done. I feel like the Toy Story game. Uh, I know you guys are talking about playing that instead. Um, maybe that would be something like when we hit a milestone on the channel, maybe it would be something as a possible choice on a poll or something. Maybe. Or maybe it shows up in one of our celebration streams or something. I don't know. Maybe I make that a members only playthrough. But then the members are like, why do I have to watch this junk because my member only video? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this awesome reskin of the game. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Alrighty, your turn. Karma Witch, thank you for watching. You thank have a great, you. great rest of your day. Oh, Brian S says, King of Tokyo, you can spend two energy to clear the market. Oh, I know there's another game, though, I'm thinking. Oh, Yogi says, the market clear once per game is in expansion rules. Ah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Stacy. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Stacy says, I liked it twice, once on my phone and on the TV. Hopefully those are separate accounts. I think, I, I, I don't, don't know if that works. I I'm not no sure, idea. I'm not sure. Either way, we're at 80, there 20 more. Active, Active here loses two health. That's good, Down so this, six. this doesn't trigger then. You're good. Okay. Uh, all heroes draw a card. Yeah. Yep. All heroes gain a health, boom. Sweet, thank you. Yeah, that's done. Uh, he'll gain his attack, so he's done. This will gain me a health and an attack. So this is done. 
This will gain two attack. This is done. This will gain me two money. But I don't think I need to go that oh, far. Oh, did you just kill him? Or... I'm making it rain. Take One, that, Lucia. One, two, three, yes, four, five, bag. six, seven, eight. Yep, you did. Boom. Boom. Okay. We win, and we weren't even, like, close on the second. I did get worried when we did flip the first one kind of quickly. I was yeah, like, oh, was like, maybe okay. this is spicier, and it is yeah. going to make them with these dark arts move yeah. up quickly. Yeah, they put the but gas on for sure. having the removal of the control from the market is definitely helpful. Right? Yeah. Like, you had yeah, one yeah. and I had one, so being they, able to... add more villains, it makes sense to then give us a way to slow down... But they did add an extra location, so that does buy us extra time. In your bin. And uh, one of those locations had like five things on it. So I'm not going to separate my deck just in case. I don't yeah, know if yeah. that's a thing or that not. That sounds good. Yeah, we'll leave the decks together. Actually, I am going to separate. I don't think they would have you start the game with all this stuff in your deck. Maybe they let you pick a card to keep, but I, I don't I think I guess we could just thing. separate it like I am this separating. is my yes. deck and these are what I purchased yeah. in case. But I can't see them starting the game with. Because if they said you could pick one, I, I would 100% pick him to start Because it's supposed to be a separate session too, right? We put the game away, you show up next week with your friends, you play again. Yeah. I just one, don't see two, that being three, a thing. Four, five, six, it's just seven, reminding eight. new deck builders. Somebody in the chat would be yelling at us like, no, yeah, don't just, do this. We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> okay. And then I'm just going to separate these in game one and two, uh, just in case they like remove game one, like shuffle only game two and three now or something. I can't see them continuously. Having the same. So game three adds the stuff to the game to make it the fullish game, the proper game, the game that they recommend to go to if you are advanced wizards. If you want to see us play this today, maybe I should lower the bar. I don't know. What? The... I don't think it's happening. I think 100 is maybe too much. Right. 82. Uh, let's see here. So click the like button again. If we reach 100 likes, we will play this one. We come back from our break. After reading these rules, if you feel comfortable and are familiar with deck building games, they recommend you can just open box one, two, and three for those that weren't here at the beginning. And this makes like the full advanced game. So we've been playing like tutorial part one. Then year two is kind of like tutorial part two, spices it up a bit. And they keep, they're supposed to keep getting more difficult as we go. So the next one adds all the stuff in that supposedly they recommend you play if you're like a pro with deck building games. So I'm excited to see where we get to with game three, which we could play when we get back. I'm thinking also, too, that game three might introduce having multiple villains at the same time. Yes. Think yes. like that. Or, which yeah. could be uh, definitely more cool. More spicy, for definitely, sure. Definitely. For sure. I mean, we're doing pretty well. 87. Uh, 88. We just need 12 more likes. We're going to take a quick break. Refresh our beverages. A little washer break. We'll come back and check the likes. So anyone who shows up uh, while we're gone, just tell them click the like button if they don't know. And uh, yeah, we'll play the next one. If not, we'll just schedule it later in the week. It's all good. Uh, take your time. Con says, take your time so I can create 10 accounts. <laughs> 10 new accounts. All right. We'll be right back. Thank you, everybody.
All right, we're back from our break. Uh, did we hit it? If we can. I think we did. Hold on, what's this? Bob says, come on, you last four people. If you don't hit 100 likes, I'm going to go have to spend time with my family. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real reason. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did we? Yeah. Hold we on. Did. I can't see it on this thing because it, it did hit three digits. That's why it's not showing me the number. I have to like stretch the window. 102, it says on my end. Beautiful. Thank right. you so much. Oh, Jana says, says, I see 103. Let's go. Awesome. I mean, more people keep liking it. I mean, we don't have to stop at 100. Over 100 no, is good. But... Too many. The bucket's full. We're good. Stop <laughs> stalling. We got 103. Full. All right, so we're going to play game three now. Thank you, everybody. Um, Something is backwards. What's backwards? No, nothing is backwards. Your eyes are crossed. Oh, is it? Michael, you got to uncross your eyes. Hold on. If you uncross them on the count of three. One, two, three. Boom. Okay, boom. Now they're fixed. See? Is that better? You just had them crossed. Sometimes that happens if you, you know, you stare too focused for too long. Um, but yeah. There's a method to his madness, I will promise you. Yeah, we had to change into our Harry Potter costumes. <laughs> That's what Michael was thinking. No. No, I just no. washroom. Yeah, washroom. I had a little snack. <laughs> stretched a little bit sitting for a little while there but it that. did go by like this right it was fun yeah. all right so uh box three we're opening for the first time if you don't want to be spoiled on box three go away run run okay i think i have the rules for this one open too i got off the list yes yeah came three rules okay What's happening? There's too much stuff jammed in here. The plastic is uh -oh. falling off. It's packed so tightly. All right, what do we got? Oh my, that's scary. That's scary. All right. Uh, so let's see what the rules say. Mm -mm. Game three. Object. Object. Uh is, as in previous games, defeat the villains before they gain control of all the locations. We get location cards. Use only the game three locations, same as last okay, time. So we're moving game two. Uh, so we have Hogwarts Express, Hogsmeade Village, and Shrieking Shack. Okay. So it looks like they get progressing, progressively more Dark Arts cards on the second one. So oh, okay. And but the first one uh, is five control tokens. Okay. So I'll throw those up there. Um, what? Dark arts cards. Shuffle all the dark arts cards together. Uh, do I have more here? Yep. A few more to add in. Looks like four more getting added in. Not a ton, but uh, some new ones, which should thin out some of those annoying ones a little bit. So we won't look at them. So we're. Not spoiled when they come up. Oh, there's a new icon there. Villain cards. Shuffle all villain cards together. Reveal two cards in the spaces below. Oh, okay. all villain oh, cards together. New villains, new villains. Whoa, hide what? them, hide them. Oh, all villain cards together. But oh. now we get two at the same time. Oh, man. Okay, the game length is definitely getting longer. Unless they're giving us more cards to speed up in the market and stuff. Uh, okay. All right, we got Peter Pettigrew. Active hero reveals the top card of his or her deck. If its value is one or more influence, discard it and add one to the location. Whoa. Seven health. Okay, that's serious stuff. And the next one is... Total... Oh, we don't want to look at him anymore. Oh, yeah, sorry, we need to. We need to. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just following instructions No, now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just following the rules. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Okay. Anytime a uh, dark arts or villain card causes a hero to discard a card, the hero loses the health. Okay. Oh, which these two in combination are not good. Because it's one possibly makes you discard the card. Yep. Okay. Spicy. All right. Hogwarts cards. Shuffle all Hogwarts cards. So these are them. Oh, right. and these, sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, and these were what was in your deck, too. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So it's a much bigger deck now. 
Uh, so we're going to reveal the top six. So here, you can do a whole bunch of shuffles. Okay. Upgraded hero cards. I thought these would come eventually. Upgraded hero cards. This replaces your game one hero card. Place it above your player board. So it's giving us a little more to track. Uh, so for example... So this may make you want to change based on... Unless no, you're, I don't oh, care. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't care either. It. So as you see, the old Ron just has no power. Now it's the older Ron who needs a haircut. Uh, and then this Ron uh, has an ability. If you assign three or more damage on your turn, any one hero heals two health. So oh, I need to buy damage cards. Okay. Well, that's how I've been playing anyway. Perfect. So that's good. Okay, so he's out. And then Hermione. Hermione is going to be replaced with a bunch of flavor text into older Hermione. Uh, see, the older Hermione needed a haircut. This new Hermione, I, she got her hair together. Yeah, freshly, freshly she cut. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> all right. Uh, if you play four or more spells on your turn, any one hero gains an influence. So you're all about buying spells and playing spells. And, okay. I don't know. That's a weird one. Uh, where are the other two? So Neville is the first time each hero gains a health on your turn. That hero gains an additional, so he's the healer. And then we have Harry. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. I'm not sure. He must be a side character or something. I don't remember who that guy is. But um, the first time uh, a villain control token is removed from location each turn, any hero gains one attack. Oh, nice. Okay, those aren't bad. And what's next? Chipboard shield tokens. I'm assuming that's this cardboard punch out. It says shields to be used with the spell Petrificus Totalis. Carefully punch out, then recycle the waste. Oh, I like that it says that. Sure. Uh, place near game board, used for Petrif Petrificus Totalis. I can put, oh, yeah. Whatever, I'll just throw them here. Okay. But they are just little, little Harry Potter Hogwarts logos or whatever. All right. Distribute cards on the game board as shown. So we got the locations. We got the Dark Arts cards. We revealed two villains. And the Hogwarts stack we didn't do. Yeah, you can do a cut. Yeah, yeah I'll yeah. do a little. My deck eh. as well. And then leave empty for game three. So we're still not even at full villain craziness. Oh. I guess this is just showing that more than one villain can be at, on the board at the same time, yeah. and then in later scenarios, we'll have the third. Michael R. says, excited to get rid of the young Ron card. That image was creepy. One, two, three, four, five. Tweedledum and Tweedledumer. Okay. <laughs> this is <a> joke. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. So our market cards to start us off here this is the gain one influence put items on the top of the deck uh we have oliver wood we've seen him already today we got some quidditch gear uh oh we're not seeing any of the cool advanced cards but maybe we don't have money for them yet so the same items on top of the deck again and put those up here just so we see they're together mm -hmm. Oh, another oh, Quidditch gear. I mean, I do like those right I, off I the see bat, why those, so uh, it's fine. I see why those alternative rules were added to the game already. I even thought that when the first game we played off stream, I was like, man, we're seeing like a lot of the same cards, but I'm like, it's a tutorial, it's fine. There we go, that's the one I like, but this one costs six, so it might take a little while to get it, but at least one is there, because this is like a game, a card you need in your deck fast to get the attack going, right? Yep. So, something to work towards. But... Another thing I like in some deck builder games, and I don't know if this does it eventually, is if the villain stuff is pitching cards from here to cycle it up, could have been an alternative method where some of the oh. some of the cards come off dark arts, like lose a health and Remove. discard card number four from the thing. Yeah. So it messes with you. You can't leave stuff just getting old there where players might be saving up to buy something. It yeah, or the most them. expensive card. But it also something. turns the deck so it doesn't get stuck. That's another another clever way I like when sometimes games do that where uh, you see that a lot in solo variants to kind of give the feel of like other players buying cards. But they could have solved that problem by putting it in either like some villains or dark arts cards to cycle this, right? Might have been a clean way to do it. All right. What else we got? Yeah, there is more rules. 
Uh, prepare your hero. Replace your game one hero with a new one included in this box. Your magical training has improved, and now you have the ability to use throughout the game. As in the first two games, shuffle and stack your hero's starting card of, uh, deck of 10 cards face down, then draw five. How did your mind start? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Gameplay proceeds the same four steps for full details. See page six to ten of the game one rulebook. Uh, players must defeat all eight villains. Wow. In game three, you will have to face two active villains at a time. You may choose to assign all your attack to one villain or spread it out among them. That's, that's what is needed. Mm -hmm. I felt it was needed. Uh, that's good. Remember to use your hero ability on your turn okay, if you can. Uh, when you defeat a villain, replace it with the next one from the top of the stack at the end of your turn. There should always be two villains face up. And once you defeat all the villains, you win. You did your school proud. You proceed to game four. But if the villains control all locations, we lose again. And the Death Eaters are getting more powerful. And you're not ready to move on to game four. Reset the game and try again. And that is that. Okay. I'm excited to have two villains at the same time spice it up a little bit yeah so this is where they recommend you start with game three with all three boxes of components if you're a deck building pro you're a gamer's gamer and you're like all right i want to play some harry potter this is where you're supposed to start if you already understand deck building engine building like kind of mechanics and flow and resource management all that stuff would um, you say that we're deck building wizards no 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 okay all right you can start because this uh, game will turn us into that though yeah I'm sure Definitely. You can start, I feel. All right. Dark cards. It's been working so far. Game three card. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Dementor's Kiss. Active here loses two. Yeah, that's why you want me to start, eh? Well, I get slapped in the <laughs> I face didn't first. Know. <laughs> well, you lose the health also, so deal with it. Okay, I can lose one. That's fine. All right, down to eight. Okay, now we have to do these, and I guess we do them in order. So Active Hero reveals the top card of his or her deck. If its value is one or more influence, it's just start it. Card, so it's not. And add one. Okay. So then don't worry. So I just reveal it. I'm going to just leave it there. Yep. So I, whatever. And then each time uh, a card is discarded. So you're good. So this guy's kind of good to see early. Yeah. If we leave him out too long, he's punishing later in the game more. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because right now there wouldn't be any cards in our. Uh, bingo. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But it's probably going to take a minute to get seven. Mm hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I, I do know. think we kill him before we kill Dumb and Dumber here. So... Yeah. Agreed. So I'm going to gain an attack off my ally. I'm going to gain an influence here. For each ally you play this turn, I gain another attack. I'm going to gain two more influence here. And then this gains me an attack. It says if you defeat a villain, I'll also gain another influence. Now I'll be a more chance of defeating yeah, villains. Was... So these cards will kind of make more sense now. They're not as rare to fire off. Okay. And for three... Hmm... I'm going to take Oliver Wood, I think, to go into my ally thing while my deck's thin, but I do would take that, but uh, I'll, I'll lean into that again. And then what's your character ability do? Does it do something? If you no? assign three or more, oh yeah, three or more attack on your turn, any one hero heals too. <laughs> nice, nice. I forgot about that part. Thanks, Ron Weasley. All right. Next market card is boring. That's a third one. Look at this crap. Yeah, you see exactly why you guys are saying those alternative rules and stuff. I see why. That's definitely a flaw in the game. You do start with 10, but Rob lost two from his Dark Arts card. Yeah, relax. <laughs> I got I got the juicy stuff. Pontus I got, I got slapped in the face right away, Pontus. Oh, right away. all heroes lose one health and cannot draw cards this turn. There's a goal. Lost okay. that health. I'm down That's to nine. That's fine. I'm down to eight. Yeah, Pontus. I, I was getting slapped right from the start. It got me. And I can't draw cards this turn, so that's fine. One, two, three, oh, four. Good. I don't have any cards. That, oh, but it's not oh, it's that turn. Yeah, I'll get it next time when I add them. Okay. Oh, uh, man. I can gain an attack or two health. I'm going to gain an attack here because I feel like we need to kill this Peter guy or stun him. And then if you play four or more spells on your turn, anyone here can gain one um, influence. We got a super chat. Dark Griffin, thank you for the super chat. Says, you two got me into solo gaming with Marvel Champions, Too Many Bones, and Arkham Horror. My wallet continues to bleed. Nothing but lo love, the Rochester guy. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Our, I mean, our neighbors to the south. I love it. <laughs> those are fun games. So hope you're not disappointed by any of those purchases. <laughs> now, Dark Griffin, I have to ask you: Have we ever met you in Rochester at, at either of the game stores at tournaments or anything? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, or do you yeah. just live in Rochester and you just know us through the channel? Because again, we've been yeah, there. we've been there multiple we've times. We've been there over the years many times for tournaments, for various games, at Millennium Games and Just Games. But again, if Dark Griffin is saying you got me into solo, oh, solo gaming only though. Didn't list any of those previous okay. games, so maybe maybe newer to the Yeah, channel. probably newer. But yeah, I, I know the owner. Uh, both okay. those stores, they're both awesome owners, each one of each store. Yeah. I'm into solo gaming. Interesting. You have quite a bit of money. So I'm going to use this on my turn to get, or to give me the influence to five. I'm going to spend three to gain a Quidditch gear. I do like these just to have in my deck. And then I'll just spend two. We're just going to clear it out. These are not bad. Uh, so it gives me one and put items on top of my deck. We'll assign this one attack here. And Spicy. I, did I do this? I did not. Sorry if you're yelling at Active me. Active Hero reveals the top card of his or her deck if the value is one or yeah, more. Yeah, nope. sorry. Okay. I, just, I just ignored it because we knew that it wasn't going to trigger, but sorry. And then okay, one, fill two, it out. Three, Did you let me draw a card? Yeah. Okay, I was like, why do I not have enough cards? I think so. Whatever. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, we got uh, yeah. Sybil Trelawney. Discard two cards, then discard any one card. If you discard a spell, gain two money. Uh, Dark Griffin says, no, just know you through the channel. I always go to you for the playthroughs. They are both my LGSs, though. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. Both awesome stores. Yeah, both great owners, both great communities down there. Love it. Uh, any two heroes, oh. each gain one. All right. What a beer. What a beer. Yeah, maybe we'll get to meet you if we go down for something. Maybe. We'll let you know. Now that traveling is a thing again. Yeah. Alrighty. This is for you. I'm Adding location. a location. Control okay. token. Now discard the top card of your shuffle. Oh, you'll have to shuffle now, so this might come in. What? So the active hero reveals the top card of his deck. Do I need to shuffle if I is reveal make um, you do a new one? Or only draw? I don't have the rule book on me. I don't know. Let me check. But some games, if it's reveal, you ignore, and it's only draw. And if someone in the chat knows who is a pro with this game, feel free to chime in. Let me know. Um, yeah, I don't remember if it said only when you go to draw. Remember. Yeah, every deck building game has their own little twist on that stuff, or even every card game. Probably at the end of turn stuff. I think it's in the additional rules or something. Oh yeah, it's a win reveal also right here. Oh, okay. It's answered. In uh, step six there, at the end of your turn, draw a new hand of five cards only. Shuffle your discard pile to form a fresh draw deck when you need to draw or reveal cards. Okay. And your deck is empty. They answered it right there. Beautiful. So you'll have to reveal the top card. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So this sucks because it could be one of the ones I purchased. Yeah. Let's see. If it is one that you purchased, it is not. You're oh. fine. So then both of these don't trigger. Okay, perfect. All right. My turn? Yep. Oh, that was yours. That was mine. Yep. You did this, then this. Okay, now I play. Money, 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 money. Five monies. Uh, hmm. Yep. I'm, I'm gambling. I'm assuming since they added more cards to the Dark Arts, you know, the Bathless is in there, but he's in a big, fatter villain deck. Oh, yes. I Hopefully forgot. I can get away with a little more draw in the game, but I, I need allies. I draw cards. I don't know. Any two heroes each gain a money and a health. I don't know. I might try to buy that one. One, two, three, four. Or this for attacking. Oh, this one actually. I'm one short on, but if I could have, oh man. I can. Yeah, it's okay. I'll just buy that four cost card. Yeah, because yeah, I don't have any attack in my deck yet. I need to. Uh... Just my. 
Just my ally that is the choice. Uh, oh, this is a game three card. Oh, a new one. Uh, again, cost six. Is it the same as that one? Oh, oh that's no. the new one with the, the shield tokens. Oh, okay. Uh, you gain one, choose a villain until the start of your next turn. That villain's ability does not trigger. Use the shield tokens as a reminder. Oh, so this could be on the basilisk so we don't have to worry oh, about the not trying. Oh, yes, that's yes, good. Yes. Till the end of your next turn. Oh, that's so good. Maybe I buy that instead. Okay. Beautiful. So that's that. Let's do this. Uh, active hero loses one health and add one control token to the location. So I go to seven. Uh-oh, adding one to two. Reveal the top card of my deck. Oh, no. no! No! Discard it, and then I have to add one to here. Oh my gosh. And then each time a dark arts or a villain causes you to discard a card to lose a health. Oh my gosh. C -c combo No. One, two, three, four. Getting out of control! One, two, three. Four. I gain one. I may put spells on the top of my deck. And then I did play four spells so I can, somebody can gain another one. I'll put it here for one sec. Two, four, five. If I take six, I can get that one. Or this one. So I'll take it. Do you prefer this one? Whatever you want. Whatever you think is going to get us winning the game. I'm going to take this one. Whatever one. I don't care. Oh, yeah. I'll leave this here. Oh, was that done. a spell? No. Was it a spell? Oh, it was a spell. Yeah, it is a spell. So that goes on, on top, top of my deck. deck. Yeah, they're both yeah, spells. Yeah, because uh, this one. Let me put spells on yeah, the top yeah, of your yeah. deck. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there you go ahead. I'm going to reveal the next market card. Ooh, it is Chocolate Frog. Oh, my favorite. I like chocolate. Any one hero would gain an influence and a health if you discard this. You still get to gain it, so any kind of oh, discard effect. Oh, fun. I like I when like games that. give you rewards for discard stuff. Love it. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Dark Arts. Oh my god. Ah, this is so not, not good. We need the removal fast. Yeah, I haven't seen it. It's all in the bottom of the damn oh, deck. Oh my gosh, so now you have to reveal the top card of your deck. Okay, you're good. It's a cheap and free one, so we're good. Oh, please get rid of this guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Let's see what we got going on here. How much is he? Seven? Seven. He's three. Okay, I think I'm okay. So, for each ally I play, uh, I get an attack. I have two. So, let me do that card. And I also gain an influence off of that card. So, this one's done. Uh, this one obviously will only get me an influence. Can't do anything about that. This one will give me an attack. And if I defeat a villain, I'll get a money. So I'll leave that there just so I can deal with that. Uh, this one will gain me an attack. Oh, yeah, I can spread it out, right? Mm -hmm. If I defeat a villain, any one hero would gain two health. So we'll do that in a sec. And this one, I'll just uh, gain another attack from. Okay, so these two will matter uh, if I defeat a villain. So I have five. I could just defeat this fool. I mean, I think this guy's worse. But then what's the next one showing up? But yeah, you're right. Uh, one, two, three. And I'll put two more on here. Or actually, I, oh yeah, I don't see him until the end of the turn, yeah. right? So this guy will be defeated. What does he do when he's defeated? Uh, all heroes may search their discard pile for a spell and put it in their hand. Okay. And then you remove one from the location. Oh, thank goodness. One uh, control. Okay, so a spell... Mine are all the same, so I'll just so take each, this one. Uh, all heroes may search their discard pile for a spell. Put it in their hand. Yeah, mine are just gaining me extra money, so whatever. I mean, maybe I can buy a card. Okay. If you defeat a villain, which I did, any one hero gains two health, go ahead. Oh, thank you. And if I defeat a villain, I also gain another influence, which I did. So I have four. Not the six I'm looking for. I'll just spend three on Quidditch gear and get rid of the rest. All right, well, you're done, right? Uh, I don't really have money generating cards to be able to get that, I don't think, unless you give me money on the turn, maybe, but... Uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But maybe you can just buy it if you get the oh, money. Oh, you could buy this card, which is choose one, gain two, or draw a card. Yeah, those are the cards that <laughs> yeah. we saw early last game, and we really haven't seen this game yet. Yeah. Give you a little influx of cash. Is that not her card? Um, 
Okay, what are we doing here? Oh, we're gonna refill the villain. So our next villain is Tom Riddle. Oh no. Uh, for each ally in your hand, active hero chooses one, lose two health, or discards a card. Oh, and I have one, of course. Okay. Dark arts. Uh, all heroes choose one, discard one spell, or lose two health. All discard a spell. Oh, did you do your ability? Oh, no, I didn't. Thank uh, you, Tim. Anyone here will gain, you gain two. I forgot, man. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. I forgot. Uh, yeah, so Mel will heal too. Thank She's you. full so health, I'm whatever. Full. I'm full. Okay, so I did this one. Uh, oh, no, I didn't do this one, but one I will. Sec, I'm just counting. Yeah, yeah. I won't be a, oh, maybe I'll defeat. Are you doing any damage on your turn? Uh, potentially. Oh, no. Uh, two. Yeah, okay. So that could get me one, two, three, four. This will get me two. I have no allies, so I just get rid of this. Oh, it's a spell I have to get rid of, right? Uh, yeah, discard a spell or lose two health. No, I'll just lose two health. Whatever, man. Okay, so I discarded a spell. Now here, for each ally in hand, I you lose two or discard a card. I will lose two. And then here, that made me discard a card, so I lose one more. Okay. Then, let's do one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, Neo Pet says, lose a health for the spell you discard. Oh, yeah, we got there. We got there. Oh, yeah, sorry. We're, we're only doing, doing like the top part first yeah. waiting for him. Sorry. We're just doing them one at a time, Neo Pet. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for catching that. Uh, items I purchase may go on the top of my deck. Uh, gain one attack. Choose a villain until the start of your next turn. The villain's ability does not trigger. Uh, oh, yeah, you didn't discard a card, Mel. Yeah, I did. You gave me a card. Oh, you had an extra? Yeah, you, you let me draw a card somehow. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. What? Oh, no, this guy let me bring a spell from my discard pile. Yeah, yeah. That's, so that, that was the extra card I had. Yeah. I think we're going to say this guy until the start of your next turn. Where was it? Was it during my turn, too? Yeah. Until the start of your next turn. You don't have any uh, allies, so maybe I do this. Yeah. Okay, let's put that there. Because he doesn't have any allies, and I don't think I'll have any in my next hand if that's there. So, okay. And then... I think I'm just going to gain an attack with that card. I did play four spells, so I, somebody can gain an additional money. How many uh, will you have? This is if helpful. I defeat the villain, which I won't right now. Oh, I would if you... I have two that I'm I can I'm only put... able to put two out. Okay, so I could, I could put... But if I do defeat a villain, it would give me an extra money. Okay. But so if I don't, do. I have one, two, three, but I could have four. If you give me one, I'm at five, but... Not enough. No, but yeah, it's not enough to get the six, so who cares? Just do whatever. But if you're able to get something better. That would give me four versus... Yeah, the, mostly threes are the good cards here, and there's a bunch of twos. Okay, that's fine. So you can only do two, so let's do one here and one here. So sorry, then... did you take two, or are you giving one over? It was only one. I get one with this. Oh, I see. Any hero, though, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. I'm going to spend three for the Butterbeer. This is an item. It can go on top of my deck. And then I have one. I'm not going to do anything with one. So I did make it so you can defeat this guy if you want to get the additional. Mm -hmm. One, two. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, why did you take the extra and not give it to me if you weren't going to spend it? Okay, then saying, you can have right? it. Yeah, yeah. Because like, oh, we don't know what we'll see next. You're right, too, right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Like, you're not going to spend it. All right. Let's replace. Another Butterbeer. Okay. Uh, dark Arts. Active hero loses two health. All other heroes lose one health. Okay. For each ally in your hand, I have none. And then that's blank. This guy's blanked. Uh, okay. And I will get two influence here. This will give me one influence. I don't have any allies, so I don't get an extra attack. This one will give me an attack, and if I defeat a villain, I gain a money. And this one will give me an attack and a health. All right, so if I defeat a villain, 
I don't have the three damage, so I'm not going to get that. Uh, do I need a fifth money? Doesn't really make a difference now. So I don't care about defeating him because he is covered. So that's fine. Uh, then I'm going to spend... I'll spend three on this one and just get rid of the rest. Yeah, unfortunately that card coming up kind of sucked. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's all good. Okay, we need to get rid of him fast before I get in trouble for all my allies. No, oh, and I don't think I can. And oh, no card that we haven't seen yet. It's from game two, but we never saw it. Holy Juice Potion. Choose an ally. You have played this turn. You may copy the effects of that ally. Oh, Ooh. that's good. That's a nice one. All okay, righty. Go ahead. Uh, all heroes choose one. Discard an ally or lose two health. I do not have an ally, so I have to lose two health. So for each ally in my hand, I'm going to get in trouble. So mm -hmm. let's just lose an ally. Yeah, because I can't kill him, unfortunately. Okay, is there any punishment for discarding cards? Uh, oh, at the start of your turn, that would be gone, oh. right? Yeah, so then Sorry. each but time causes me to discard, I lose a health. I don't think this is going to trigger against you, though. Because you're not, you're not going through these. Read it. Each time a Dark Arts oh, event. Oh, hero. Or, yeah. Oh, not active hero. Sorry, yes, go ahead. Oh, this is active hero's hand. I'm so sorry. This is the only active hero's hand. I thought this was all heroes. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, this is not until my turn. Nah, never mind. Carry on. My bad. Okay. Woo! Now I go here. I don't have any allies. And then I don't have to lose one. Uh, let's do any two heroes. So me and you gain <gasps> one influence and a health. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Oh, I see. Sorry. I did discard an ally from here. I Yeah, sorry. I knew I was doing something right. All right. Discard an ally from here. Then this is whenever I discard a card because of this. Jump, oh, yes. I lose a health. That's a thing. I knew I was right. Okay. I don't know. I brain farted then thought it was that that I was doing. I was, yeah. Not sorry, that. Yeah. You're confusing when you're like, stop me. And I didn't know what was going on. I am. Yeah. Okay, then uh, I did play four, so somebody can get an influence. How much would you have if I give you one more? Uh, possibly five. But I might be drawing two cards if this allows me, but I know I'll draw the one that doesn't let me draw extra cards. But I might be getting rid of one of these, and then that gains me two extra. So I don't know. I could have the six I need for this, maybe. But I'll, I could draw into more money. Who knows? I like there's so much unknown on my turn. I have no mm -hmm. idea. Okay, so then I'll just spend yeah, so five. If you don't need it, no. I I will take your charity. Uh, I'll spend I five. It. I'll buy for three and two. Need a little bit more heal. I think happening. All right. One, two, three, okay. Four, five. Done your turn. Yep. We have Molly Weasley. All heroes can gain an influence. Oh, this six cost ally. Wow, spicy. It's a game two card we have not seen yet. And Quidditch Gate. All right. Dark Arts. It's going to be the one that says I can't draw my turn watch. Oh, it's oh, not. It's a, game it's a three. new card. Tarantalagra. Active hero loses the health and cannot assign more than one attack to each villain this turn. Oh. Haha. <laughs> well, so, oh, far, okay. so far I have none, but I might draw into some, but whatever. Okay. Won't be that much. Uh, so I lose the health down to four, though. Ew. Uh, for each ally in hand, active hero chooses one. Lose two health or discard a card. Yeah, I probably should just discard, but I'll lose two health because I want this card in my deck. And then each time uh, Dark Arts of Villain causes you to discard a card, well, I didn't, so I'm not losing a health for that. Okay. So now, uh, draw two cards. Then discard any... Uh, one card. If you discard a spell, which I'll discard a spell, one of my one cost ones, I gain two influence. Okay. And then one, two, three. Money. Okay, I'm at seven money. Nice. This will gain me an attack. Uh, I'm going to spend six of this, but I'll just throw away it all, whatever. 
to gain, ooh, yeah, I'll gain this one. If you defeat a villain, any one hero heals two health. Well, that's not happening. And then do three more attack, that's fine. And draw, I need a shuffle. Replacement card is our buddy. Draw, discard. If you discard this card, draw a card. All right, he's cool. Active hero loses two health. Yeah, the heals need to be I know, like, like, we're too where low. are all the heals? We're about to get stunned city over here. I know. Uh, for each ally you have, uh, lose two health or discard a card. Uh, and if you discard a card, you lose a health. So it's like, lose one health and a card. Or lose two health. I'm gonna gain two health back from that. I'm just gonna lose one and lose discard a card and then lose one health going to two. Okay. Pink water up. I know, Brett. I know. I need to. You're right. You're right. Let's do gain one. Gain one. I can put spells on the top of my deck. This one will give me two health. This one will give me one attack. And choose a villain until the start. It's the same one. We're going to do this one again because I'm going to put this here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's not enough to kill him. So then let's take these. Instead of the heal from this, I'll take the attack so we can kill this one. Two, four, six. Okay. What does it do when we beat him? All heroes choose one. Gain two health or search their discard pile for an ally and put it in their hand. Well, I'm just going to take two health. I have no that. discard pile, one, so two. health it is. Okay. And then this is on him until the start of my turn. Yep. Two only. Gain one, put items on the deck. Gain one, put items on the deck. Or this ally who can draw you a card, then you discard a card. And if you discard this card, you draw another card. Yeah, I do like that idea. Anything else? No. Nope. You don't have any when you defeat a villain, anything? No, nope. and I only played two spells, so I couldn't do her ability. All right. One, two, three. Uh, we found the essence oh. of Dittany. Anyone hero gains two health. That's what I need. Okay. My turn. Draw on Dark Arts. Oh, yeah, we need our villain. Sorry. Oh, we yeah. need our villain from the end of your turn still. So. Draco Malfoy. Every time a control is added to the location, the active hero loses to hell. Six to defeat him. All right, Flipendo. Uh, active hero loses one health and discards a card. Oh, but at least he's blanked. Loses one health, discards a card. Okay. So then this one doesn't trigger and he's blanked. Beautiful. So you're good. Uh, so again, three influence. And I'm going to gain two attack and draw a card. And then I'm going to gain another attack. And if I defeat a villain, any one hero gets two health. Stu. So... Oh man, but he's. Def... It's like the shield but, makes you want to. But it doesn't matter him. because it's going to. At the start of my turn, it's going to go away. Yeah, it will so... let me draw a card too. Yeah. So I'm going to put two of this here and one of this here. So this will defeat this guy. Here's your token back. Thank you. Uh, all heroes draw a card. And I'm going to use the two heal off this guy. Mm -hmm. And okay. Oh, oh, the combos are coming together. Draw two cards, then discard any one card. Right? I'm allowed to draw cards? Yeah. Yep, Nothing's okay. telling you can't. All right. This is how it's supposed to work. Draw two cards. Okay. I think these still be in my hand. And then I discard like one of these. I'll discard this one, and it's a spell. So I'll gain two influence. I'm at five. Oh, I want to be at six. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything about that. I don't know how that's all supposed to work, but that's fine. Uh, this I could gain two health or an attack. Mm. Um, let's gain an attack. And then for five money... I'm just going to spend three on this potion. And I'll fill. Did I do three attack? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, you did. I, I finished this guy and this guy. So any hero, you can heal too. Thanks. Yeah, with my character ability, you will heal too. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And flip the villain. Oh, no. This is a game three, one. Oh, active hero just loses two. The mentor. Whoa. Okay. Thank you for He's giving scary. me that heal. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, man. And then this is game two. Uh, active hero loses one health and add one um, control to the location. So lose a health, add a control. We have one left there. Each time control is added, the active hero loses two health. Holy. And then active hero loses two health. Holy moly. Okay. okay, before you do your stuff, Tim just said, Tim, thank you for helping out today a ton. Uh, Tim says, okay, I'll have to go watch my Bengals defeat the Bills. Uh-oh. We have a Rochester friend in the chat. He's going to be <laughs> not happy about that. Uh, wishing all a great day. Enjoy the stream and good luck. Thank you, Tim, for all your thank help today. You. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank enjoy, you. Enjoy your football. Yes. Okay, then I'm going to use this one to gain an attack and a health. Yeah, Ponta says, imagine getting the Dementor is one of the first two. Yeah, and not the guy that we got first, though, where we had, like, cheap cards. Like, that yeah. could definitely flip the difficulty. Uh, draw a card. Build Mafia for life, Dark Griffin said. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I knew it. Uh, draw a card. <laughs> I can draw, right? Yes. So draw a card, then discard uh, any one card. If you discard this card, draw a card. So I'll discard this card to draw another card. Well, you uh, did you draw the card first? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. it was, it was oh I see, I see. Okay, well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So somebody can gain a money. I will have one, two, three, four, five. How much money will you have? Five. Uh, maybe I will have one, maybe two, three, four. If I defeat a villain, five, maybe, but I can choose other stuff. I might get blocked and I, okay, I might, so I'm going to take it because I think me. then it'll give me six. Yeah, if you can get, one, get a bigger two, card. Yeah, three, four. Oh, wait. What, what one, is this from? Two, this is leftover, right? Three, four. Uh, yeah, sorry, this is leftover. I didn't clear that last turn. You didn't give me any, right? No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I gain an attack, and then I can blank somebody. We're definitely blanking this one. Because that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. So those are done. That's done. Uh, I may put items I acquire on top of my deck. That's done. Uh, two. Do we go here now? Is it Dementor oh, worth? it says you can discard... Wait. Oh, Vanyo says you can't discard Lockhart when you draw a card with him because he's not in your hand anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, this so then is I would like have one less. This is separate. This is like if the villain tells you to discard it or oh, discard an I ally see. from hand, you still get a bonus from him. Okay, no yeah, problem. he doesn't combo off himself. He's still there. I just put this one that makes sense, back that on makes the sense. top. No problem. So I have one less. So I have one, two, three, four, five. One, yeah, two, that's three, why like four, order of play matters. Five. We just dump our cards out, but it could matter the order you play your cards, especially with draw effects and stuff, which maybe I should start doing, actually. Yeah, I'm going to start doing that because it's starting to matter now. Like, you know, like play your draw card first to see what you draw into. Yeah. Because then you could draw in a card that like discards something. For, you'll have more options, you know, in your hand. But, I mean, you can play with it just up on the table and do it however you want, but... So I have to um, attack. Do you want me to put them here? This guy's worse, right? Is that who but we're going to... I don't... In this game, sorry. Discarding cards. Like, I thought they're still all kind of, like, out. I don't know. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let's like, find out discarding go into... in this game what that means. Where can it be discarded from? Only your hand? Or only cards in play? Both? Because I thought it's even recommended to play with them out. Yeah, that's what I thought. But maybe, I don't know. Oh, right here. Maybe. Let's find out. Maybe it's it's different in this game. I don't know. Drawing and discarding cards. Some cards, like the Crystal Ball, have the effect to draw a card. When you play these, always draw from your hero deck. Additionally, if a card has an effect to discard a card, you may choose any card in your hand, not just from among the cards you drew. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if it says draw two cards and discard one, you could discard all the cards in your hand or the two you just drew. Does Any one is valid. Other cards have an effect that happen if you choose. Hmm, doesn't really answer it, but. Okay, so he's not as good as I thought he was. But that's fine. No, but he's cool. So if you are forced to discard an ally from hand or you're told to discard a card, you pitch him, you'll get a replacement. So he's kind of like a protector. He like still helps you keep your hand full. 
Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we'll it's just okay. play it like that. We'll play it like that because that's how, usually how these games work. But yeah, anyways. Vaniel, okay. thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So, Dementor, I'm assuming, is who we're going for first, right? Draco is bad, but it's only going to be if we put tokens there. I think I'm going to put that there, unless you need me to put it here for defeating a villain purposes. In your hand? I do have, if you defeat a villain, I'll gain an influence. That's it, but it's But how many you. attack can you do? Uh, one, two... Two. Two. So if I put that there. Maybe more if I draw into an ally, but I mean, I wouldn't bet on that. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. Okay. Yeah, let me defeat a villain. Okay. That's fine. I'll mm -hmm. shake it up. I know. Uh, and then I'm just going to spend five for this one to gain two attack. We need some attack or else we're never mm -hmm. going to get through this. And yeah, we've got eight to get rid of him. I know. And he's going to, yeah. But yeah, we'll just, we'll just keep plowing through it. Because maybe we get mm -hmm. it down to where we have just one villain left and it's easier to control and... Yes. And manipulate and attack and all that stuff. And we only have one ability to fire off every turn. It's better than two. Okay. Good? Yep. All right. Star cards card. Active hero loses two health. Oh, sorry. And I'm just going to replace this one. Oh, yeah. We're just a sorting, sorting hat. hat. Two allies you acquire on top of your deck. So you're just going to Okay. Uh, all right. So I could have one, two, three, four money. Five money I could have, but I want six. But if I can't get six, I might that as well just. Me. I'm gonna play this to draw a card. Okay, it's just another money. It's kind of weak, but whatever. It gets me through my deck faster. Uh, all right, I'll just gain a health and an attack into influence. In another influence. And then for each ally you play this turn, which I didn't draw into one, I was hoping I would, but whatever. I, I could have just checked and seen, but whatever. I don't gain an attack for that. Uh, I gain an attack here. And I have the right amount of attack. Yeah. And if you defeat the villain, gain an influence. So I will assign this. Defeat this guy. I gain an influence. When we defeat him, we remove, we remove one, one of those of from the location. I didn't do three attack. I only did two. Uh, so no extra heal there. That's fine. And then for four influence, I think I'm going to grab this card, the sorting hat. It will replace. And I need to shuffle. Oh, there's uh, the remove one from location. But oh, okay. we're still only on the first location. But the, but next, the next one, one starts doing two dark yeah. cards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So while you're shuffling on... Sh oh, sorry. Let's reveal the villain first. The next villain. That's Skullisk. Yep. Yep. I knew he'd come out. So here's gonna draw extra, extra cards. cards. Oh, he's eight health also. We're gonna be stuck on this little part for a bit. Okay. Then we're going here. All heroes choose one, discard an item or lose two health. I think I'm just gonna lose two. If I lose two health, oh, this is now, this goes away at the start of my turn too. If I lose two health, I get stunned. I do all the stun stuff. But then if this makes me lose two health and I'm already stunned, nothing bad happens, right? Like I. What? So if I go from here, lose two health. Yeah, you don't health. get double stunned or anything. Okay, so then I'm just going to do that. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to lose two health from here. I'm, I don't know, though, for sure. So I, I think once you're stunned, it kind of stays there until you, at the end yeah. of your turn, it goes back up. But That's what I'm thinking, too. Okay, so I don't have any to discard. You have to lose two health or an item. I have to discard uh. two cards. Yeah, okay, so then I'll discard these two cards. So this is my hand now. And then I have to add this here. I'll lose this item. Okay, and then can't draw cards, that's fine. An active hero loses two health, I can't lose any more. So let's do any two heroes, you and I, both gain an influence and one health. Let's gain an attack. Actually, I'm going to just do the two health. I want to keep this item. It's risky, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to gain this one. Attack. Oh, who's worse in this case? You want to draw cards because you have a lot of card draw stuff. I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know your call. Okay. Done. And then at the end of my turn, go up to full. Refill this one with a crystal ball. Draw two cards, then discard any one card. Basculus says, I don't like your crystal ball. It's garbage. 
It's <laughs> garbage. All right. Yeah, Edgar, I am. I'm I'm hoping this doesn't hit me for one, but it probably will, right? I probably shouldn't. Oh, I'm. What else could they do? Let me check the discard. Oh, some of them we don't know. I don't know how many I new know, ones they received. But I want to see how common it is. Oh yeah, they all make you lose health or choose something else. Oh, it could add to the location, but I doubt it. Yeah, it probably will make me lose health. That's a good call, Edgar. I will just give her this card. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not pushing that. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I was here, right? So one, two. Yeah, I'd be there, I think. Or no, I'd be at five. I was at five, I think. Oh man. Yeah, because it was it was lose two, lose two or or an item. item. Yeah. And I said no. And yeah, then I would. Oh, yeah. I gave you one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's Thanks, right. Edgar. All right. Yeah. So I'm at five. So I have a quite a buffer now. All right. <laughs> All heroes lose one health and cannot draw extra. All right. Uh, so. Oh, now here, uh, active oh, hero yeah. loses two. Boom, boom. Okay. Where are those uh, good brooms? So I, I'll do it like this here. Let's do. Uh. One. I'm gonna gain two. No. Yes. Gain one influence. Uh, for each ally you play this turn, gain an attack. Well, then I don't want to heal. I want to attack from this guy. Yeah, because I'll heal from here. Then I gain two more attack. Which, uh, I'd love to draw that card, but we all know that's not happening. <laughs> and then, uh, I can't defeat a villain. Two, four, six, one away? Seven, one away, yep. It's ready to now. Uh, so I assign three or more on my turn. Uh, I'll gain two. And I didn't defeat a villain, so whatever, man. Okay. Uh, active hero loses one health and discards a card. Alrighty. Discards a card. Let's do this one. Okay. Uh, can't draw. Uh, lose two health. All right, what do we have going on here? Uh, any one hero gains a health and a, um, resource, influence. Oh, this is gone, right? Yeah. So you just get one? Sorry, yeah, I didn't spend whatever. I don't think I should spend. Oh, sorry. No, yeah, yeah, I missed that. Sorry, I didn't, wasn't even caring about cards. But you get one from me. I do get one now. Yeah. And, and then, I took a health? You yes, said? yes, oh, a okay. health and an influence. And Yay. then any two heroes, you and I both gain an influence and a health. So gain another influence and another health. Oh, man. Okay. Sweet deal. Uh, this gives me one influence. I can put spells on top of my deck, and one influence. I can put items on top of my deck, and I just want this one, which is a spell, go on top of my deck from this one for three. And I didn't play four spells, so I don't get that bonus. That and sucks, man. You literally couldn't do one attack. No. I have no attack cards in hand to even get my draw to work. Three, this three, is so four. crazy. I thought for sure putting him there, he'd be dead before I get to. Play my stuff. I didn't even discard a card that could have given it's me an attack. No. no, it's fine. No, it's just no crazy attack. how that worked out. Stupid basketball. We have like two cards that give attack. It's okay. It's okay. And now I can do something. All right, we got chocolate frogs. A chocolate frog. Hold on. I could discard the chocolate frog instead. If you discard this gain. Oh, no, it's fine. I wanted to give it to him though, I think, because he had less health. It's fine. Whatever. All right. But that's good to think about for the future. I can be able to lose two health. Ugh. And you'll lose another Axe two. Lose two oh my gosh. Ugh. Well, I'm obviously choosing money on this one since uh, I can't draw cards. And I get four more. So I'm at eight. Cashola. Well, 
Let's get Molly. And with the two remaining, I'm buying nothing. Do you want chocolate frog? Uh, no. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Place. One, two, All three, right. okay. four, five. Okay. Oh no, add one. Oh, it's going to gonna finish it. Well, I can remove one, I think. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Then I have to lose two health. One of five. Yes. Remove one from the location. Mind control. Uh, gain an attack and a health. Purification. Or petrification. Uh, we'll put that there. And I gain an attack. Yes. Control this Dementor. Uh, put him in draw a card. Then discard any one card. Oh. Yeah, you should have started with him. So you drew and see. But I what... didn't want to, I want to play all those cards. But maybe and the next one, one you'd want to play more than one of those cards. But can I not just play him in, in whiffs? Like if I don't have any cards to discard? I, oh, I have to just discard the card I draw. It's fine. Yeah, so I'm like, why wouldn't uh, you do this? You, you get can gain two faster. health. And then draw one card. And discard any one card. Perfect. That worked out perfect. So I got no. I still would have done it earlier. Yeah, but. I... Oh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, see, uh, yeah, having the chocolate frog with that card would be awesome. I know, I just need them to work out <laughs> together. All right, let's put this one here. And this one Brett, here. Brett wants a chocolate frog now. Mm, <laughs> chocolate frog. <laughs> okay, so this will defeat this guy for yeah. eight. You could have defeated him, like, right at the start of your turn, which could have... Oh, yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. A card? Yeah, you would have had so much... Yeah, like... I can still do it. You it's definitely could have played this all in a way better order. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yes. This. I know how to play Jack. She is okay. young, young and, All heroes and, draw and naive card. with the drawing card stuff. No, go ahead. Okay, so you get to draw a card as well. Yay! And I already removed. Yay! Sorting hat. Yay! Those. Okay, now this one I gained two attack, which I will play here. Yay! And I did not play four spells, so I don't yeah, get Yeah, because you chose the discard oh, what am one I gonna drew. Do? It's fine. You what am I going to do with one? I know. These cards are you. better than that I'm one. I'm just kidding. Relax. And I am done. <laughs> Chill, I man. I'm just joking. I feel like it worked out well for me. It's fine. Uh, let's draw one, two, three, four, five. Let's see our next villain. Oh, we only have two. Yes, crush these fools. Oh, this guy's a weenie. Okay, we're not. I still lose health. The other guy losing health, and the other cards losing health. It's but we like, could draw. You could draw all day now. <laughs> well, no, there's cards in here that say I can't. Like this one, probably. <laughs> nope. Oh. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. Heroes that reveal a card with a value of one or more discard it and lose two health. Okay. Wow. Oh, I'm good. Uh, okay, to discard it and lose two health. Oh no. Oh no, this is gonna be a problem now. Yeah, okay. now I lose one more from this guy. And then I'm, two. I'm one away from stunning. And then oh he's blanked. He's blank, sorry. You were trying to get I me forgot, to block forgot. It? You can't even read it and you're making me do it. Get out of here. I forgot I blanked that for you. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Did we already fight? Uh, all right, I'm going to draw two cards. Oh, my deck is empty, so I have to shuffle. And then I discard one card. If you discard a spell, I gain two money. So, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. So I drew one already, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, from this. Oh, that's right. My deck was completely empty, so I'm drawing two fresh cards, yeah. right? Okay, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. And I have to discard one. Anything really big and juicy? No, there's not. This is easy. I'll discard this spell. That gains me two money. Yes, there's no allies even here. The sorting hat sucks. I know this has not been ally heavy at all. Well, I've, I've been buying them as they come up. But only two, I think. So I'll gain two money from this sorting hat. I'll gain three money from these three craptastic spells. Uh, then I'm going to gain two health with this dude. And I'm going to gain one attack. And I'm not going to defeat a villain. I don't need the money anyway. Okay. Uh huh. Can I buy attack with this money? 
<laughs> can, I, can I bribe one of these guys to go away? Uh, one, two, three. I'll get the crystal ball. And one, two, three. I'll buy Quidditch gear. I don't know. Just buying junk to cycle junk. Okay. Heal and the choose two money or draw a card one. Okay, I'm just going to shuffle this up well. <laughs> yeah, I know. I think guys like, leave Mel alone. <laughs> Mel's right. Leave Mel alone. I don't know. I know. I mean, it worked out exactly as I wanted. This is the card, or the. That would be a card I would it want is, to discard. It is, is very. You guys don't understand. It's very painful as a person who teaches many board games. And a person who loves deck building games and loves when you can get the efficiency engine building all going together to watch somebody like not draw a card first. I do it sometimes by accident too. But that feeling of like drawing a card. Perfect. It works with this. And I combo that. And I draw another one. Then you do this. And it's like, oh my <laughs> god, all the resources. Oh, we're winning. It's like to watch her just do it all in like the most inefficient order. It's like, no, no, no. It's killing me. It worked out perfect. It's hard. I try to just sit quiet and leave it. But that was like, no. No, even though we're doing really well, so it's fine. I think so. It works out well. It's fine. All heroes choose one. Discard an ally or lose two health. I don't have an ally. I have no ally, so, so boom, boom, I'm down boom. to one. Uh -oh. I'm in trouble. You need to Now I me. lose one. Now I lose two. Oh, I mean, oh, I'm down to one as well. Oh, here we go. Any uh, two heroes, you and I both gain an influence and a health. Okay. Still not enough. One, two, three, four. No health. That's all I can do, though. One, two, three, four. Ooh. And then I did play... Four, so two, four, five. Four is all I want, so uh, you can gain an influence. Two, four. I'm just going to spend four. Probably going to lose all my extra. turn when I get smacked, though. Uh, I don't. You, you I can... only want this one. So yeah, that's fine. Do whatever. Matter. All right. And done. Did you play four spells? I got that. I that? gave okay. you the money. Well, I'm going to lose it, so it didn't matter. But... Yeah, but I oh, need it. I recognize this dude. Remus Lupin. Oh. Okay, you want to attack anyone hero gains three health. I wish that was there when He's I was game out. Three card, okay. Or that was out when I on my turn. Alright. Dark arts. Add one to the location. Okay. Right. Uh active hero loses the health. Uh oh. Active hero loses two. Bam, I'm stunned. So I lose all tokens. I have to discard half cards rounded down. I'm gonna keep this one. Keep this one. Keep this one. I'll discard these two. Oh, I'm gonna be stunned too. Okay. Uh, and now I play my turn, right? I'm going to gain to attack and draw a card. Allowed, yep, okay. Uh, for this one, I will just choose a draw card. Uh, I'll play her. All heroes gain one influence and two health. Oh, yes, you saved me, thank you. Okay, I'm going to gain one money. And for each ally... Oh, yeah, and a token for stun. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, sorry. Oh, yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I should have read it. I thought I had it all memorized. Oh, no! Uh, so for each ally I played, I played one. I'm going to gain an attack. And then gain one money from this. Oh, watch out. Yeah, I know. That's okay. I'm not, at least, potentially, I might not be stunned. But... I don't want any cards. And the three attack. Oh, man. One away. End of my turn, I go up to 10. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Draw some cards, okay. Okay, so we're gonna flip this location. Oh, which means I gotta draw two dark arts. I bet you all be stunned this turn too. Yeah, it's going crazy now. We're out of Things control. Things are escalating quickly. Okay, let's move oh, on. Oh, the heal doesn't work, Vanyu? I wasn't sure, I did it earlier in the game and nobody said anything and I wasn't sure. So each turn reveal two dark cards. You can't get healed on the turn you were stunned. Okay, okay. So I would have stayed at zero, but at the end of the turn, I still go up to uh, ten anyway. So, gotcha. Thank you. I wonder man. if there's something about spending health to do things. And yeah, you can't do that yeah that's on good. That's good to know. I wasn't yeah. sure about that one, but I didn't want to look it up because it didn't really change anything when I did it before. So, but yeah, good to know as we go forward. I appreciate it. Okay, first dark arts card. Add a token. These don't make me lose health. I'm good. Oh, I see health. All heroes choose one. Discard an item or lose two health. Well, I don't have any items, so we're losing two health. 
That's annoying. Well, I have all the items over here. Do you want to lose an <laughs> item or lose two health? Uh, hmm. Well, now that I'm balling, uh, two health it is. <laughs> all right, but then I'm going to lose one health. Do you have an attack? Please tell me yeah, have something. Okay. Then I'm going to lose two health, which is going to put me stunned. Remove this. Add a token. Ooh. Lose two cards, Oof. which I will just lose these two. I don't want to buy anything anyways. But they could be oh, no, 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 play. no. Sorry. One and this guy. Uh, if you discard this, draw one. Whoa, you got him. Okay. And then let's play this one for an attack, which we will just do that right now. Two, four, six, eight. Here, I'll give you all those for your bucket. Uh, all heroes gain two health. I cannot and remove one control from the location. You can gain two health. Boom. Uh, let's gain one and let any spells go on top of my deck. One and one and items go on the top of my deck. Uh, I don't want anything for. Um, I'll just use this one, I guess. Uh, it goes on top of my deck. Uh, and I only spent, yeah, back up. To Our final one. villain is Lucius Malfoy. Anytime control is added to the location, remove one attack from all villains. So this is where splitting it would be bad. Okay. So we'll just focus hard on him first, right? Yeah, I would assume him. Okay. Uh, right. Two of these, Two of these. bad boys. Yeah. All right, so first one, all heroes lose one and cannot draw. And then all heroes reveal the top card of their deck. If you reveal a card that costs one or more, you must lose two health. Oh, I'm good. I am oh, also nice. good. <laughs> Junk card, save me. Now active hero loses the health. And there's nothing added there, so we're good. All right, uh, let's play the owl. I'm gonna gain an attack. Let's play this guy. I'm gonna gain an attack. If I defeat a villain, any one hero gains two health. Choose an ally. You have played this turn. You may copy the effects of the ally. I'm just gonna choose this one and gain an attack. Oh, I forgot. See, I didn't read my cards. Uh, I might undo, 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 undo. I didn't read the crystal ball. I didn't realize it was there. Let's do that again. Draw two cards, then discard any one card. One, two. Mm. Let's discard this card. Then, oh, but that was my only spell. Hold on. No, no, I got to save that one because I drew this one, which I want to spell discard, I think. But it doesn't matter if I don't care about money. Do I care about money? I don't care about money. Oh, you can't draw this turn. Oh, Michael, yeah. thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you, blocked, thank you. So I'm rewind. Blocked. Okay. So it was that one and so the spell together. This one. And the spell lady. And the spell lady are still in my deck. Yeah. Thank you. Gotcha. So you did it right the first time. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah, yeah. So this does nothing. Uh, so I'll just go back to these two. Gave me two attack. This one copies an ally. I get another attack. And this one gets me an attack and a health. Or close here. And that's it. Yeah, I do agree. It's easily forgotten when you have to, when you draw two cards. Yeah, but it's the top one. Like I should, <laughs> so it's still there. Uh, okay, I draw five. All right. Let's see. Next two cards. Active hero loses two health. One two. Active hero loses two health, and all other heroes lose one. Okay, I'm going at eight. Okay, then I lose one, and this one doesn't trigger because we did not add. Okay. Does not matter. Yeah, two Dark Arts draw cards. That's card. spicy. Yeah, I'm going to use this to draw a card. Let's use this for an attack and a health. And then one, two, three, four. Yeah, I was thinking that Pontus. Just grab, like, one of these tokens and put it on top of your deck. Yeah, so you like you're not allowed to draw, you know, like just to remind you, makes sense, or a money token or something. Yeah, good call, good call. Um, I sp I played four spells. Did you want a money? Because I'm gonna just spend four on this one. 
at this point in the game, I don't really care about it, but I do have a hand of like four I'll get money, it to... and I might I might get extra off this I'll one. I'll give it to you because I only want to buy this one for yeah, four. Yeah. Okay. And this attack is going to go here. Good morning, he's gone. I don't know said anything yet. Good? Yep. Preparo. All right. All right. Dark Arts card number one. Uh, we need to put a thing on the location, and whenever that happens, this guy heals. Mm -hmm. And then, active hero loses a health and discards a card. Pew. Whatever, man. And, I and then lose. I lose a health, and that one's good. Okay. I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to discard a spell. If I do, I gain two moolah. Then I'll just play these three to gain three money. Then I gain an attack. And if I defeat a villain, which is not happening, I would also gain a money. So I have six. Hmm. Don't care. Good? Yep. Active hero loses one health and add one to the location. Oh, when you add one to the location, uh, we take away one from each villain. That's never going to go away. Active hero loses two health. Oof. One, two, and then I lose one from Oof. him. That's already been taken care of. Oh, no. It's okay. I have things. I have things. Uh, let's do gain two attack. Let's do gain an attack. And we can put this token down and we're going to put it here because I'm going to kill yes. that guy. Uh, any one hero gains two health. Uh, this one, any one hero gains a health and a money, or an influence, and then gain an influence. And then how many spells did I play? One, two, three. So I don't get that one. That's fine. I'm not going to spend the two. That's okay. We'll get rid of that. And then three, we're going to put here to, to get rid of this guy. Boom! All heroes gain the money. Oh, now I would have three. Does it matter? Uh, nope. No, I still buy Gain money and Gain remove money. a uh, thing from the location. Okay. Ow. Discard all my money. These are discarded. And then one, two, one, two, three, four. Pop and out. shuffle. Brett with the super chat. Thank you, Brett. Meanwhile, Rob's like, what elephants in the room? This made sense earlier, but I had to disable and reinstall YouTube to send this. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. You had to do that last time, Brett. You were saying. What elephants in the room? This made sense earlier. We don't really know what you're talking about anymore. I'm not sure, Brett, but thank you. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Weird, Brett. I had to do the same about one hour into the stream. Oh. Oh, I see. So we get over 100 likes. It breaks YouTube. Is that what happened? One, two, three, it broke four. our channel. Oh, maybe the, an update or something. On your iPad broke it. Weird. All right, two dark arts cards. Uh, oh yes. First one. First one. Active hero loses the health and discards a card. Sure. You piece of crap. All oh. heroes lose a health, and now I can't draw cards again. All right, I'm gonna gain a health and an attack. Six more is all we need. I can do none. <laughs> I'll gain two money. So I can't draw a card on that one. Then I'll play this, gain another money. Then I'll play this, gain a money. I didn't play any allies, so I don't get any attack for that. I'll assign this here. And for five money, I'll just throw it in the garbage. Don't care. Okay, start of my turn. This is gonna go away. Three cards, shuffle. We're gonna draw two of these. All heroes choose one. Discard a spell or lose two health. I think I'll discard a spell. Yep. Oops. Oh, sorry. You have to discard. Wait, wait yeah, you're ready. Yeah, no worries. No worries. No worries. All right. So what are my options? Spell. Discard a spell or lose two health. Boom. Perfect. Spell. Easy All right. Easy. Second one. Active hero loses one health and adds a control to location. One. Necro Comic Con with a $20 super chat. Testing, Thank testing. You. One, two, three. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the test. Uh, thank you for the support. As it always, thank you for your support. Looks to be awesome. working. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now, active you know here, you loses out. You could have out. tested with $1 or something, right? <laughs> it's like thank a you, thank where, like, Elaine throws the $20 out the window to see if Jerry would get the $20 back. Oh, yes. And he's like, you could have thrown a pencil out the window instead. <laughs> thank you, Necro Comic Con. Uh, oh, Cynthia says that has been happening for months, sometimes often every 20 minutes. Weird. She says we keep having to reload the stream. It keeps freezing. But we have suspected it's YouTube to keep showing us ads, which it does every time. Oh, it might be Cynthia. It might be a server replication thing. I don't know what resolution you're watching on, but I, I put it at a pretty high bit rate. So if you're watching like the 1440p stream, uh, I put it at like the max bit rate. So if you're like far away, it might buffer a little bit on that. So you might have to be watching it like a minute or two back and like delayed, which sucks. But usually YouTube is pretty good at that and replicating and most people only watch it in 1080p. So you shouldn't have an issue on that. But that's annoying though. I'm sorry that's happening. It could be that. It could be maybe it's just not keeping up with the bit rate. It could be your connection. Your internet connection is not good enough for the bitrate, but like, I, I don't think that's a thing anymore. Like, it's still not that high. And like, I'm not streaming in 4K or anything. Yeah. It could also be, uh, are you watching on a wireless device, Cynthia? Because I know even where we used to live, where we live now, I used to live in an apartment. Like, if you're using Wi-Fi that's on like the 2.4, even five gigahertz, even sometimes now, there is so many devices that are all fighting for a, a handful of channels. So your neighbors like surround sound bar, their fridge, their 18 laptops, their kids computer, their TV that's smart, their smart box, their smart stick, their phone, all this stuff is connected to their Wi-Fi router and all the routers in your neighborhood are all trying to fight for Wi-Fi channels and stuff too. So it could be just that interfering. So when you're trying to watch something at a higher bit rate, it's just pumping too much data and it's getting interfered every now and then packets are being dropped. Um, but you can find out, you can like run a, uh, a network scan or use a, on like your phone, you can install an app that searches the channels that are in your area and you can see which ones are higher strength and whatnot. There, you can probably watch videos to teach you how to do this. I learned this in like networking in, in way back in the day in college um, and at work we used to have to do it. But you walk around to see how much channels are being interfered so that way you can set your router to the right channel. Um, so it's it's on a more clean band, but uh, it could just be that. And we know here when we put, I have a two gig uh, wi guest Wi-Fi or whatever, it gets interfered so much by all the devices and routers and things in our neighborhood that it's like, it's just so spotty unless you're like right beside the router. Uh, so we have to use like five gig. I have multiple five gig networks running off my router to make up for that, to take the load of all our devices, but yeah. Could just be that. Could be Wi-Fi interference. It could be uh, just YouTube not replicating fast enough for you. So the higher bandwidth is causing buffering. It's a hardwired 250 meg connection. Yeah, then there's no excuse then. Yeah, the, the Wi-Fi stuff, forget all that I just said. Forget all that I just said for the Wi-Fi stuff. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. But yeah, some streamers that I watch, uh, not board game related, just some general streamers I watch for video games and things. If I'm watching a 1440p stream like I do, but it's usually they have 60 frames a second. I'm only running at 30, so it should still be less. I do have a less bit rate than that. But when they're streaming at 1440p 60, sometimes I get buffering from certain uh, certain streamers. But that could be just an issue on their end that they're dropping frames because their upload's not handling it or because I'm far away from them, but usually it's smooth. But sometimes I have to either A, drop it back and start watching them two minutes in the past, so it has a chance to catch up, or I just drop it down to 1080p. But yeah, hopefully that all makes sense. I know you're smart. I know you know what I'm talking about. All right. All heroes draw a card. All heroes draw a card. That's you. Oh yeah, I'm a hero. You're a hero. Sort of. Remove one control from the location. Hopefully that helps somebody else too. Like, hopefully someone's watching this and going, oh man, I have that problem too. I fixed it. 
So I have duplicate uh, duplicate this card. So any two heroes, you and I, gain one health and one influence, but times two, because I have it twice. How And then gain one. And how many spells did I play? Only three, so we don't get that bonus. So three, three, ooh, well, at this point we're almost done, so let's just do that. Clear it out, do some fun new cards. Ending three. All right, one, two, three, four, five. I am done. We'll flip this one, another Butterbeer. And your Dark Arts when you're ready. And the other thing, too, on my end, there's no issues on YouTube or in OBS, so we should be good. I would see if there's issues causing buffering, so it's beyond us. But also, YouTube will give me uh, alerts if my bitrate's going, like, too high and might cause buffering for the viewers. So I definitely dropped it down below that. I haven't seen that error in, like, mm, like a year or two, like, a long time. But uh, that could be a thing sometimes that might cause that, but it's definitely not happening on my end, for sure. YouTube would yell at me for that. But that could cause it, is what I'm just saying. All right. Uh, Tarantalegra. Active hero loses a health and cut not assign more than one attack to each villain this turn. Boo. I don't know if that matters too much, but. And active hero loses two health. All their heroes lose one. And active hero loses a health. <laughs> Bam. All right. So I'm only going to be able to put one damage out, but whatever. So I'm not even going to gain the extra attack. I'm just going to only take one so I don't accidentally put more out. Draw a card. So for this, I'm just going to heal. Nope. Get the attack. All heroes gain money and two health. Yes. Uh, so gain two money. If I buy any allies, I put them on top of my deck instead of my discard pile. Choose an ally you've played. Copy their ability. All heroes gain another money and two health. Nice. Thank you. And gain money. All right, slam my attack here. Boom, got him. And then <laughs> uh, all the money. I mean, if I don't buy other cards, I'm not going to see big juicy cards. I know, that's why I just bought one for fun, but it just got us another butter here. Garbage. Yeah. I don't want. Like, I want, like, a big, expensive juicy card. Like, where is the yeah. Harry Potter Gandalf? Yeah, but, like, the, the, I know. They, they just keep adding cards to the deck, so it's even less chance you're going to see those good cards. I know. Yeah, it's just like, yeah. Too diluted still. I mean, at least cards that draw and replace themselves are a thing. Yeah, that's But then that's draw I... gets blocked in the game, so draw is not as good. But then you can just gain money. But at that, but... at this point, you don't really need. All right, wasting four money. Oh, there you go. There's a juicy card I was looking for. But it's oh, late, it's late not game, even it that sucks. good. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's good early game. Yeah. To, to buy more stuff. But late game, we want attack. And that's what I see the flaw is kind of here. I felt that in the first time we played ever. Mark C says, uh, I'm on 1080p and don't normally have any problems. Had a handful of about one to three second buffering pauses. I'm only on a hardwired 80 meg connection. That's still plenty, though. That's still plenty. Yeah. But again... Like, we learned when COVID lockdown started, literally, like, governments were telling internet providers to start throttling Netflix and video content, and lowering the quality of those services because it was crippling networks, because way too many were people were streaming. It could also be a busy time right now for YouTube. Like, a lot of people could be online streaming today and viewing videos. So it's just killing networks and watching Netflix. All that stuff goes through the same networks, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just things get bottlenecked and buffer and wireless signals get interfered with and networks get congested. So it could just be that. I don't know. But obviously you can play with the bar and you can like try to watch with as minimal delay as possible by keeping the bar at the end. Or you can put it back a few seconds and let it kind of buffer a bit more before you get there. Also, depending on the YouTube app you're using, if you're using like a third party YouTube app or sometimes you can mess around with settings on devices to actually buffer a little more for you um, to, to, yeah, download a little more. I forget what that's called, where you can have a larger cache basically or whatever, but it depends what you're using. Oh, yeah, people streaming football, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, but again, people in the UK who are like seeing buffering, it's like 
I assume, you know, some internet could go through other countries, and yeah, that could be a thing too, so. Probably the Bills game, yep. <laughs> yeah, it could just be a local ISP. Literally, like uh, Pontus is saying, just in your neighborhood, in your local ISP, like, they're just getting pounded right now because everybody is on the internet watching stuff right now. Could just be as simple as that. And that's why I'm not seeing anything on my end. Most of the people watching aren't seeing anything. And it's just you. <laughs> All righty, let's see what's happening here. All heroes reveal the top card of their deck. If it costs one or more, discard it and lose a health. Two health. Okay. Oh. Oh, I guess that's fine. Discard it and lose two health. What's happening? Sorry. You'll discard top or reveal the top card of your deck. You're good. Good. All right. Sorry. No problem. And I'm, then I'm in troubleshooting mode now. Like I'm active hero loses two health. No problem. I'm like trying to think of anything that can help. And Cynthia. then one. Yeah. Okay. What do I got going on here? This one. Uh, draw a card. And discard a card. This one. Gain an attack. Any one hero gains three health. I will take three health. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> that sounds okay. Two I'm attack. fine with that. <laughs> uh, one, two. And two influence. And how many did I play here? One, two, three. Not four. Four. I'm not doing anything with that. Three attack going here. Two, four, five. He's one away. Can you do one attack if you can? We are the winners. I don't know. I might, one, I might two, draw these and then take all my five. cards away or I might die. <laughs> Cynthia says, yeah, it's funny because it literally only happens on Robin's Gaming Table streams. Hasn't happened since it dropped to 1080p, though. But that's the thing. Like, on my streams, 99% of the time, I'm streaming at 1440p or higher. And a bit rate of, like, 13 megs or higher. So if the other channels you're watching, you know, if you look at their, um, you know, uh, again, I don't know the device. If you're just watching on a PC, like, it depends on your monitor. Like you might not need it to run at 1440p because you're, but you'll get less artifacting and stuff. So that's why I do it also. Um, Rob's rants take up double the bandwidth. Yes, Dan. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Hey, Dan. I don't think there's been rants today, has there? I don't know. I feel like not. Let me tell you about Dan. I don't Stephanoff. remember. Let me give you a rant about Dan. All right. Listen, Dan harassed me about playing Arkham Horror scenarios. He comes in every damn stream. We finally play it. Now he's off my back. Now he shows up again. There's your damn rant. There's your <laughs> Dan. Get out of here, Dan. No, I'm just joking. Good to see you again. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, let's take this learning moment. Let's just stretch it out a bit here. All right. Let's go to this Rob's Gaming YouTube thing. This is fun to do this every stream, in streamception. Uh, so if we go to the current stream today. Yeah, nope. Mute this guy. I don't want to hear him. Uh, right here. So the little settings. It's auto playing at me for 720p because I'm playing in the little window, so it doesn't need to be higher. But on the streams you're watching, Cynthia, the ones that you don't see buffering, are they people that are local to you? So they're only being replicated through like your local cloud servers, most likely? Because who knows how many YouTube replication servers uh, my stream has to go through to get to you, right? Uh, across the pond. So that could be an issue. But if you're not watching on a 1480 or 1440p or higher screen, then you don't need to, yeah, the matrix is happening. Yeah. Streamception. Uh, then you don't need it there. Like your computer might be fine to handle it, so your auto might be sending you to 480p, 1440p. It still should look better. It's at, you're going to get a higher bitrate doing it, so you'll have less artifacting and stuff for the uh, stream compression. But uh, if you only need to watch on 1080p, you're only watching on 1080p screen, then uh, yeah, you just set it to 1080. And you can like lock it in, but I think you have to do that every time you tune in the stream, because I think it always reverts back to auto when you come in. But like, I do not want to lower the quality. I can't, I only want to go up. And that's why you, even like the unboxing, the 4K ones, like I, I need to get the 4K eventually on everything, but the chat delay just needs to get fixed. When the AV1 codec is a thing, I'm on it. I'm keeping my eye out guys, I'll be on it. And then we'll be watching 4K streams really fast with uh, lower uh, latency. Hopefully that's a thing. Hopefully we get there. Coming soon. Boom. Eagle Lens says, I'm across the pond on wireless with slow internet, 11 megs broadband, and never had an issue. 
What's the what's the uh, resolution Eagle Land you're seeing in the YouTube uh, when you hit the gear icon? Out of curiosity, Matrix view is disturbing. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I agree. All right. You're yep. That's where you are. Bam, bam. Add a control to the location, and I lose two health. And boom, then boom. you lose additional. Oh, one I more. lose another health. And if you do one health, one health. Oh, it's auto and four eighty. Oh, see, that's why you're not having issues. Because you're watching that 480p. How do you even see it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's probably on a smaller screen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 480p. Ew. Ew. I'm just kidding. Ew. The blurriness. Ew. 480p. What is this, like 2003? No, I'm just kidding. But if you don't just have the... Me, yeah, just no, me. I'm just kidding. Yeah, 480p. You don't need 11 megs for that. You're yeah. fine. 40, can you see Rob? You definitely can't read this card, I bet. At 40 p No, I'm just joking. All right. Uh, this is an owl I'm playing on the card here. We're glad you're listening. <laughs> yeah, we're glad you're listening. <laughs> Mel with the good stinger. <laughs> Rob looks like a South Park episode. <laughs> All right, let's stop. Let's no, stop. we're joking. It's we're joking. Fine. It's fine. Sorry, we're joking. Eagle Line, I'm sorry. We're, we're enough enough. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, anyways. Aiden says, automatically on 1080, I have to switch to 1440. I think I usually have to, too. It should switch to 1440 if you're on. Like, I have a 1440 monitor that I, I game on when I do the digital streams. And when I watch YouTube on there, it auto goes to 1440 always. On our 4K TV, it auto goes to 1440, which makes sense. But yes, if I'm watching on a 1080p phone, it shouldn't go to 1440 unless I force it. But I don't know in the YouTube settings. Maybe there's one you can say, like, Always. Like, I know in mobile, you can say, give me the higher data. Like, all in, go all in. Screw being on my data plan, go nuts. And you can force it to go higher. Um, but if you're on Wi-Fi, it should just go nuts anyway. All right, I'm going to do the owl. Owl, owl, get him. Doing an attack? Damage. Yeah, but don't bend him. We might need that card again. <laughs> yeah, whatever. He did his job. All right, so then all heroes gain uh, health matter. and we influence. Him. We win. We win. Three in a row, yes. Pidgewidgeon, finishing blow, pecking out his eyeballs. I only got stunned, I think, one time. Maybe twice. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, the burns. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm totally joking. <laughs> uh, Han, with the super chat, says, Love the sassiness from Mel. <laughs> Excited to watch more games with your witty banter. <laughs> Thank you. Got him. Sometimes I have funny moments. Onta says YouTube is stupid about what you can't set, stupid about that you can't set the max resolution. You can only tell it to prioritize high resolution, which is almost never max. Yeah, that's so weird, right? It's so weird, but I think they're just trying to be safe so they don't get in trouble with like uh, people all of a sudden get there who have limited data plans who all of a sudden get their bill and they're like, Man, my kid just watched so much YouTube, I now have to pay thousands of dollars in overages. <laughs> so they're trying to keep up. They're playing this too, too safe, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, interesting. All right. We won again. We won. That's game three. We're not going to play game four today. But again, hit that like button before you leave. Uh, subscribe to the channel before you leave. Because uh, if you want to see future videos like this, uh, that's how you find them in your subscription feed. Even better, click the bell icon beside the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you should get notified when we go live in the future. And if it's a game you like, you can click it and join us in the live stream so you don't miss it. Um, otherwise, if you're watching later, I appreciate it. Uh, look for the next episodes when I do schedule them. They will be in the video description. There's a playlist link in there. Just trying to grab people before they go and let them know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I guess I can clean this up after, it doesn't matter. Grab a dice tray for next game. I thought there were dice I saw in one of the marketing images or something. Yeah, they're on the back of the box. <laughs> yeah, I knew I saw dice somewhere, and we haven't seen them yet. Now that you mentioned that, I'm like, oh, yeah, I saw dice. We haven't played with them. So this isn't even the full game. No. I guess it's just... Well, it's still like the tutorial number three, but I guess... But I guess we don't want you evolving. to start at uh, a yeah, part where you're like, eh. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Jamie, for that tip, though. I have no problem grabbing dice trays, though. Like, I have a few handy. I, I got some right here. Uh, yeah, you want a dice tray? What I'll, color would you like? What kind of dice tray should I grab? 
I got some upstairs on our other gaming table. I got some on shelves. We have them at the ready. I got dice towers. I got dice trays, dice bags. I got it all. I got it all. I got homemade dice trays somewhere over that I made when I first got in the hobby. Going to the craft store. I got uh, when we couldn't find them at stores regularly. Yeah, there used to be a day. There was a day when I got in the hobby where board game stores didn't sell dice trays around here. That was not a thing. I got my first official dice tray when we were at Gen Con. I was like, wow, they sell these? I don't have to make them? And then, yeah, now they're like, you can buy them anywhere online. They're at our game store. They're through regular distribution. But yeah. That was fun. I enjoyed that game. Three dice trays each. No problem, Jack Palm, man. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Red says, wife looked at me. Who are you texting? I said, Rob's gaming table. Are you buying games? Me, no. Oh, wife says, are you buying games? Me, no. Just watching him play them. <laughs> That's right. I don't influence him at all in what games he purchases or, or, or get him to buy games. At all. <laughs> Shh. Don't you rat me out. Don't you rat me out. You keep this quiet. Don't blame not everything on me. I don't need your wife calling me and yelling at me, Brett. Okay? Yeah, that's on you if you buy games. Yeah, yeah. Also mention how sometimes I save you money by showing you games that maybe aren't for you. Mm -hmm. By showing you everything about the game. Being honest and open. Critical. Critical to a fault. Uh, but yeah. Honest says, I think they do it to save data on their side and save money. Yeah, that could be a thing. And in most cases, you don't notice the difference, so I understand it. Yeah, that's true. Oh, is Rob's game sales fault? <laughs> I know, Velko, I know, 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 I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> and says, Rob is going to get sued for hypnotizing people into buying all the games. Uh, I think our lawyer is already on that. We're good. Yeah, that's why I, yeah. Yeah, we got Locator already on yeah. it. We got our channel lawyer uh, covering me in case, you know, you go bankrupt and you try to sue me because you bought too many games and... I, like, I can't, I can't stop you from watching all the videos, you know? Like, if you watch yeah. them all and you're like, these all, Rob makes these all look cool, then I can't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's not just me making them look cool, it's also, you know, the people who made the games that look cool. You can blame them if the game looks pretty on the table or plays well or looks fun. Not all just me, man. And Mel. No, hypnotizing a lawyer doesn't count, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Elko says, for me personally, Rob is guilty for around 500 to 600 bucks. Ooh. Oh. It's for small claims court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Imagine that. You see me on TV, you got Judge Judy yelling at me. Yelling at you, probably. Me? She, no, she'd, oh, she'd be yelling you. At, 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 like, Velko, basically, saying, like, no, you stupid idiot. He didn't tell you. You bought them. Yeah. He didn't take the money out of your wallet. We and didn't press the he button. Didn't, he didn't go on the web and start adding all that to your cart for free shipping. All right? He didn't do that. Yeah. That was you. <laughs> Brian says, uh, will Rob's new YouTube troubleshooting course... Uh, wait, what? Will Rob's new YouTube troubleshooting course fill its first class? Will Mel use the Eat Slugs spell on Sassy, uh, Sassy Kyle? Will Harry Potter be used in a game that bears his name? <laughs> No, it's funny because when we played with not our... Done, done, oh, sorry. The answer is next episode. Same Harry time, same Potter channel. It says Brian. <laughs> when, we, when we played off stream, the, just that game one, just to kind of learn it, we played with our daughter, we all picked and Harry was not played. And we're like, we're not even playing Harry Potter in the Harry Potter game. Is that bad? <laughs> the chat voted, which I thought was awesome because I bet every single... Uh, we watched one how to play video. Of course, the Harry Potter. Yeah. I bet you in every single playthrough that's happened over the last six or whatever years this game has been out, seven years almost now, uh, I bet every single playthrough probably uses Harry Potter. Every single playthrough, every single teaching video, all that. Yeah. We have not played with Harry I Potter. I bet every demo at conventions of this game, everyone's using Harry Potter, right? Yeah. I'm so happy you guys voted to not use Harry Potter. Right. I think that's awesome. We don't need so them. Thank you. We don't need them. But I just thought it's funny. Bob says, get him in front of Judge Judy. She will understand what the bad man did to your wallet. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Again, we'll be playing another episode of this. I don't know when. I'll schedule it soon, though. And uh, so stay tuned for that. We'll continue playing through. I want to see how this goes till game seven. Um, and we're back, should be back Tuesday playing Lord of the Rings Journeys of Middle Earth. 
I have a stream scheduled later in the week to play some solo Hexplore It, uh, Volume 4, The Domain of Mirrors and Noctis. Join me for that. Uh, and I think that's all for now. I think that's all I got to say. Anything else, Mel? No, thank you. That was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed today's stream a lot. Thank you for the super chats, the yeah, support, the you. donations, the memberships. Thanks for helping the channel grow. Thanks for supporting us here. Thanks for keeping us going. We appreciate it. If you enjoyed the content, share it, like it, all that business. Thank you for being here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, -bye.